that. It's all hand drawn, this game. It's very pretty. It's got a nice art style to it. The second one's coming out at some point this year, I think, or next year. So, if we like this one, we can play the next one too whenever that comes out. You know? New game. Yes. The town of Snacky Bay, 30 years ago. Prime mayonnaise. That's me. That's me! Clam man. Right click on things to interact. Uh, okay. One of the perks of being junior sales representative. My very own phone. It's even better when it doesn't ring. <laughs> Motivational. Hang in there. Ch hang in there. Has that, have you ever had a poster in your... Dude! Dude! Did you hear? Take it easy, Pete. Hear what? It's Lindsay, dude. She got laid off just like that. What? Really? Why? What happened? I don't know. I, I was gonna ask you. Must have been pretty bad to get fired on the spot like that, though. Lindsay, she's gone. Slacking off? Slacking off? Dude, I don't know. Probably worse. I mean, I slack off. In fact, I'm slacking off right now. Some people might even say, you're slacking in work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's not be those people. Being disrespectful to Mr. Bossman. Mr. Bosman? Lindsay's gone. Chat. Being disrespectful to Mr. Bosman? How disrespectful are we talking here? Uh, really disrespectful. I don't fucking know what you... Really disrespectful? I don't know, man. S super disrespectful? Nah, not Lindsay. Super duper disrespectful? Yeah, that's pretty disrespectful. The most disrespectfulest. The most disrespectfulest? Infinity disrespectful? Uh, uh, yeah, that might have been it. Spending company money? Perhaps. This is a long conversation to cover that someone got laid off today. I wonder what's gonna happen. I, I, I wonder what happens at the end of <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of foreshadowing. <laughs> Spending company money? Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe that's it. She was always wearing those fancy silk tops and stuff. Did she have access to the company accounts? I don't think so. But then how would she get the money? Hey man, don't ask me, I'm not the embezzler here. Maybe she laid some kind of trap. A trap? A trap for money? Yeah, like a pyramid scheme. A crowdfunding. Bazing! There it is, baby. <laughs> there it is. Uh, always brewing just a half pot of coffee? That is like the worst thing you could fucking possibly do. My parents used to do that. Even though I drank coffee as well, I would like wake up every day and there would be no coffee left because like they just didn't brew enough and shit. Like I, I had to like fucking. I had to really nail it into their head, dude. That like that, 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 that wasn't gonna fly anymore. I do so it doesn't burn. Yeah, but I mean, like, imagine making it and, like, 20 minutes later, I'm down there. Like, after it's been made and there's none left. You know, like, that's how quickly it's wrapped up. Like, imagine making, you know, fire your parents. I mean, I did. I did, and I got new ones. That's how what literally happened is I fired them and I got new parents because the other ones weren't working well enough. Don't de colon, chat. All right? There's no shame in saying you guys aren't gonna cut it. I'm going back to the market to pick up new ones. You know? You guys just aren't doing it good enough. I don't feel loved and appreciated. I'm going to get some new ones. You guys are clearly defective.
Yeah, don't let anyone, don't let them push you around, chat. You get a warranty on your parents. You guys know this, right? There's a warranty on them. And if they void it, that's on them then. Okay? No one told me? Sorry, man. Hallway's brewing just a half cup of coffee? Is she the one who's been doing that? If that's true, I'm not sure I feel so sorry for her anymore. Why do you even drink coffee when all you do is try to nap during work hours? Keeping up appearances, man. Bosman would never suspect someone who's had six cup of cu cups of coffee to be sleeping on the job. That's actually extremely smart. <laughs> That's actually true. That... <laughs> Just fucking, like, get all the coffee and, like, pour it somewhere so no one knows you're drinking any. And then, like, no one will ever suspect it. Shit, man. Anyways, thought I'd just let you know. Yeah, thanks. She's still here? Can I go say goodbye? Nah, man. She packed up her things pretty quickly. Rumor is she took it pretty hard. Oh, and another thing. Boss wanted to see you. Me? Uh, me? Did he say why? Nah, man. I just spoke to Cheryl. That doesn't sound very good. Considering what just happened to Lindsay, I'd say that doesn't sound very good. I just got an achievement called a good old cup of foreshadowing. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> I sure hope nothing, nothing bad happens in the office with the boss today. I had to be pretty bad. I'd be real bad. Relax, dude. It's probably just another chat about workflow and synergy and team spirit. I guess I'll head over there then. All right, man. I'll see you later. Synergy. Efficiency. Productivity. Fun. Yeah, I get it. Go catch some sleep. Don't think I won't try. Zooms, he zooms away. Well, Chad? Guess we better go see the boss as soon as we've investigated the rest of our room. My emails have been... My emails have been blowing up lately. There's a big shipment missing or something like that. How do you lose 50 tons of mayonnaise? It's not like you can just drop it behind the couch. I couldn't answer my phone because I had to read the dialogue. Hang on, I want... Call again. <laughs> Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise. Clam Man speaking. Hello? Hello? Is this the mayonnaise, people? Yes, how can I help you? Chat, this is going to be the whole game. I'm never going to go to see the boss, so I'm just going to be answering phone calls all day. You guys get really excited for this because we're going to be answering phone calls and working in junior sales all day. I have a question about the mayonnaise, please. <clears throat> all right, well, this is sales, so I... What would happen, theoretically, if someone was to smear your mayonnaise all over his body? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, I follow. Oh, I follow. I follow. Would it say, I don't know, make you more aerodynamic? Hypothetically? I... I don't think so. Oh, okay, good to know. Tommy! Tommy, it's not gonna work! No, I, I said it's not, it's not gonna work, Tommy! No, Tommy! Wait, don't light the fuse! They hung up. Okay, well, I really like that calendar. It's pretty extensive. Every single day in the year is in there. Wow. I like the mix between... Uh, uh. Hey. Hey, is this a Snacky Bay mayonnaise? Oh, I am going to... I'm going to stay here for a while. <laughs> I don't want to go get fired. I'm going to wait here for a while and answer phone calls. I wasn't fucking around. That's correct. How can I help you? Uh, yeah. So I bought a jumbo-sized fun pack of your prime mayo the other day, and I left it out during the night, and now it's gone. All right, I see. Well, this is sales, so I'll just connect you to customer. No, I don't think that should happen. Well, no, it, I think I should get my money back. I brought mayonnaise, and it was clearly defective. Why else would it vanish overnight? I really couldn't. No, you'll answer my question. The customer is always right. Fuck people like this, dude. Customer's always right, horse shit. Go fuck yourself. 
Dumbest fucking, dumbest fucking thing ever invented in retail. Customer's almost never right. <laughs> Customer doesn't fucking know anything about anything. Fucking morons hate them. Hate these people. Just a defense mechanism because you're scared of being corrected by someone who knows more about something than you. Wait. Got him. Got him. We got him, baby. We got him. Anyone else? Why? Dude, but why? But why? Bye. <laughs> I didn't even... Ugh. Maybe someone stole it? Do you, have so Do you think someone might have stolen it? Oh, well. I suppose that explains it. I suppose that explains it. They hung up. <laughs> Wait, that's it? You know, there's nothing, there's nothing more there? They hung up? They hung up. <laughs> you think someone may have stolen it? Oh, pie. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't actually. Dude, I just, I just, oh, hang on. Hey. S sales department, oh, can I help? Where's my pizza, man? I ordered it like two seconds ago. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's on its way, sir. How soon, man? Real soon. All right. I better, and I better get it too. Pizza boy will remember this. Uh oh. Wait, what? <laughs> he's, he's gonna remember this? What do you mean he's gonna... <laughs> what if this does come back? I should go see the boss. Yeah, not yet though. I gotta investigate more of my room. My plant is looking a little pale. I might have watered it too much. That basketball hoop makes throwing paper balls in the trash a joy. Puts the fun back in failure. This character is very sad. I hope nothing sad happens to him. I hope nothing sad and depressing happens to our boy Clam Man today. I hope nothing, hope nothing bad happens to our boy Clam Man. How macabre. Yeah, this is, we are fish people. This is very dark, this today. Whatever, let's go. Nice walk cycle, man. Not for keeping. Huh, I wonder what that's about. Are people stealing? It's a plant. That's all it is. Just a big old plant. If there's ever a robot uprising and all the machines gain sentience, I wonder if copiers will be the angriest. You know, all those butts. No one does that in real life, right? No one, no, 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 that, that's a fucking, that's a joke from like cartoons and stuff. They don't, they don't, they don't do that, right? They wouldn't try to piss off copiers like that, right? Why would you take that chance, though? Why would you take that? But why, but chat, why would you take that chance? Not the chance of a copier coming up to get you. The chance of you copying something and then someone somehow getting a hold of a photocopy of your ass. Dude, no one ever thinks of the repercussions, like the, the possibility of it happening. And then someone having a photocopy, I don't care. That's what people always say before it happens. Everyone always says, oh, I don't give a fuck if that happens. I don't care. I don't care. I'm cool. And then it happens and you say, wait a second. I didn't, when I said I don't care, <laughs> I didn't really think about if someone actually got it. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Hey, Wendy. How's your day going? Oh, just wonderful. I've been listening to the mayor's press conference on the radio all day. What a charming man he is. Mayor King, huh? What's so charming about him? Oh, well, that's one of the things. Mayor King, what a wonderfully powerful name. Oh, isn't he just delightful? It's just a name though, isn't it? Oh, don't be so cynic. A name can have 
can mean quite a lot, I'll have you know. I mean, they can be descriptive of character, I suppose, who you are and all that. Exactly, Clam Man. I am just Clam Man. That's like someone actually being called Fish Guy. So, yeah, my name. I, I think my guy's just jealous. What's he been saying, anyways? Oh, this and that. Something about infrastructural development and streamlining transport efficiency. He's so frightfully clever, isn't he? With his buzzwords and college smarts. What's he been saying about those things, though? I, I remember hearing something about tearing down parts of town the other day. Oh, who cares? Can't you be a bit more romantic, sweetheart? Besides, how do you expect me to focus on what he's saying when he has such a smooth and buttery voice? Ooh. Ooh, Granny. <laughs> Let's calm it down for a fucking second, Granny. <laughs> Take it easy. You're quite a fan of the mayor, then, huh? Oh, how can I not be? Again, you sound more like you have a crush on him rather than his policies. It's both, darling. It's both. King is king, baby. Stop it, Granny. I've been meaning to ask you about those figurines behind you. Oh, you want to talk about my collection? Of course, sweetheart. I'd love to. I'll warn you, though, I'm quite the enthusiast. Oh, I'm only joking, of course. What's on your mind? Is that Blarth from Super Splash Brothers? Blarth? Blarth? You complete idiot! That's Sir Blank! Can't you see the red hilt on the sword? He's not from Sup. Oh, no. I, I think that's some other character, sweetie. That's Blablario, isn't it? That one's Blablario. That's oh, that's Blablario now, is it? Yeah, sure. That one, that other one is Blablario Louis. Mm, don't forget about blah 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 and blah, 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 you fuck. I I mean, oh, I think his, his name is actually Blabberoni, sweetie. Easy mistake to make. Amateur. Fucking idiot. Moron. I need a drink. I usually have to prepare myself for yelling bits, and this granny is fucking really ruining my night right now. <clears throat> that one I know. That's Blurry Day, right? Surely this one is so intellectual, there's no way I get in trouble for this. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Granny, no. Oh, 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 I didn't know we let the mentally challenged work it. <gasps> oh, I, I, I mean, sweetie, no. <laughs> Holy shit, Granny, what the fuck is your problem today? I, I think that one is called something else. Bloody buddy, yes, that might be it. Released in 1911, but only published overseas in 1997 because we're going to create it in one. He was rushed overseas due to greediness marketing in general, which is sort of lacking in today. Or something like that. I honestly don't know much about these things. I just like the pretty colors. <laughs> toxicity rising. <laughs> Stream toxicity rising to unmanageable levels. Do people make fun of you for collecting these? Oh, what would make you think that? I mean, they're usually just big with the kids, aren't they? It's a little unusual for someone your age to be collecting them, isn't it? No offense, of course. Oh, I don't think anyone really notices what a silly old goose like me does in her spare time, sweetheart. Sure, some rude people have made some jokes once or twice, but not anymore, sweetie. Not anymore? <laughs> not anymore? Not anymore. Never again. I, uh, I gotta go. Never mind, I gotta go. I, I gotta run. I gotta get out of here. See what the boss wants with me. Oh, I do hope it's good news, you know, after what happened. To Lindsay? After what happened to Lindsay, I sure hope it's good news too, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, Pete told me, poor thing. 
Oh, I'll miss her. But you know, but don't you worry, sweetie. You'll be right as rain. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna be good after that one. Granny, thank you. Thanks. You take care now. It's back to the radio. Just got another achievement. Uh, it's another foreshadowing bit. <laughs> it's got a second one. Speak to me, King. She's listening to the radio again. Become the mayor of my heart, King. Okay, Wendy. Good talking to you. We got a big note here. Uh, some kind of company get together. Hey, gang. As some of you may know, we're having a pottery party, or as we always call them, a pee pee. Winky, capital D, semicolon capital D. Again this Friday. Something must have gone wrong with the emails because we didn't get any RSVPs back from anyone, like we asked. So we put this note up so no one will miss it, as we're sure you'd hate to miss out on our PP. As always, it's BYOC, bring your own clay, lol, and we'll provide the party, colon, closed parentheses. Let us know when you're coming. Here's hoping for another big PP, Panky and Pocky. Hot. I like the humor in this game quite a bit, chat. This is like, this is, this, this game gives me, the reason I want to play this, this game gives me that same fucking humor that, uh, Frog Detective did. <laughs> this, this game's got that similar humor style to Frog Detective, which was so good. Who's there? Herman, it's me. I don't recognize that voice. Don't you try to trick me, you trickster. Stay up! Herman, we've known each other for years. It's me, Clam Man. Oh, it's you. Man, why didn't you say so from the start? It wasn't one of the options. Uh, does this violate some kind of fire and safety code? You don't think I've been looking into that? The fort doesn't violate diddly squat. But it has to at least be a fire hazard, right? Look, dude. This fort isn't just impenetrable to nagging co-workers. It's also fireproof, waterproof, smoke-proof, lava-proof, mold-proof, snow-proof, bullet-proof, wolf-proof, goof-proof, hoof-proof, and certifiable awesome. Oh, boy. Okay. Wolf-proof? Wolf-proof? You know what they say, cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Your fort is immune to dog attacks. I calculated about a plus 78 in dog defense. Goof proof? No joking around in the fort, only business. And sometimes I like to play solitaire, but that's more like a mindfulness exercise. Hoof proof. Oh no, the cavalry is here. What will we ever... How will we ever keep the fort? Bang! Communism. Communism? For horses hate communism. Oh, so he's got communism on the inside. Wait, so you have communism inside the fort? Yep. It's actually surprisingly easy to achieve when you're just one person. Horses in the chat? Come on, fess up. Fess up. What's your take on communism? Horses? Bang! Communism. Come on, let us know. It's true. Yeah, that's what I thought. Was that just a communism joke? Only if everyone got it. But did we? <laughs> but did we, chat? That's the thing. Did we? Fireproof? I thought cardboard was super flammable. That's the thing, see? It's not cardboard. It kind of looks like Cardboard to me, Herman, because I disguised it as such, you doofus. <gasps> How could he just fucking say that to me? Oh, he, he said one of the words. I told you, Jet Slippery Slope. First it's doofus, then it's donkus, and then it's dickhead. Ban him. It's actually 95% pure concrete. Wait, your box fort is made out of concrete? And 5% masking tape. And, but concrete weighs a ton. About 
2,400 kilograms per cubic meter. So how did you get two tons of concrete into the office? Sheer dedication. And my brother-in-law's heavy-duty construction crate. Okay, I, 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 that settles everything. We're done here. Anyway, uh, what are you doing in there? Minding my own business. I, I was just asking, Herman. There's no need to be snappy. No, really, I'm minding my own business. Herman's low-cost life insurance. I trade and deal in protective gear. Oh, I skipped part by accident. It's pretty tough. Hang on, what was that? What was that part there? Like body armor? What's that like? It's pretty tough. Ah, oh, get it? Like body armor? What's that like? Pretty tough. Oh! Woo! Yo. How's life in the fort? Rad. He's hiding something. Chat, he's hiding something. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure how I'm gonna know. He's hiding something. There's something off. It's communism in there. Anything could be going on inside. Did you hear about Lindsay? Hey man, I don't have the time nor the inclination to care about what else goes on in this office. Unless it's an approaching vandal horde, a discussion of the merits of recreational concrete, or secret Santa, I don't get involved. All right, I gotta go see the boss. You keep the wildlings out. Pfft. I'm not gonna show up for another couple seasons. He closes the door. Godspeed, my man. <laughs> it's funny, if you think about it. Ah! <laughs> oh! There it is again, baby! <laughs> there it is again! It looks like a notice from the IT department. Let's see. As you all know, we've been having server and computer issues in the entire office. The only fix we've found so far is turning the computers and servers on and off again. At first, we considered having the entire IT team running around the building doing that, but clearly, that's not very efficient. That's why we are constructing an army of robots to do it for us. If you come across one of them, do not move. Sudden moves may disturb their pathfinding algorithm and or activate their mobile death beams. Have a nice weekend, IT. Okay. Don't go in there yet, Mr. Bossman is in a, is at a super important meeting right now and must not be disturbed. Okay. I don't think one stool constitutes a waiting room. Don't knock it until you've tried it, honey. It may be only one stool, but it's one heck of a stool. I don't see how one stool can be so good it replaces an actual waiting room. Not until you've tried it. Okay. Do I just sit down on it then? Hey, Cheryl. Oh, hey. Did Pete tell you to come? Yep, here to see the big man. Oh, well, he's in a meeting right now, so you'll just have to have a seat in the meantime. Uh, what's new in the life of the secretary? Ha! Good one! I am so... Bored. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, thanks. Did you hear about Lindsay? Hear about it. Who do you think broke the news to her? Wow, they didn't even... They didn't even... The boss didn't even tell him. Oh, I'm sorry. That must have been really difficult for you. Oh, yeah, it was super disheartening. I'm sure, wow, I can't believe Bossman didn't do it himself. Right? I mean, yeah, sure, he did, sure. He did actually tell her himself. But I was in the room, too. So it, it was pretty much on me as well. Well, I say room, but I, I, I was here at my desk. Still, though, so difficult. Have you noticed how every single person in this office is kind of insane? Totally. Who's the boss seeing right now? OMG, I, I don't know, funny. Haha, <laughs> isn't that funny? I will, well, yeah, I, I just figured you might have an idea being his secretary and all, you know? Yeah, for sure, that's so funny. I guess we'll see who it is uh, on his or her way out. Oh, no, they, they usually take Mr. Bosman's private elevator when they leave. It'll be one of life's great mysteries, then. Totally. All right, well, I guess I'll just have a seat, then. 
Oh. Oh my. As Clam Man sat down on the seemingly unassuming stool, he felt a sudden release in tension. It was as if all the problems of this world, all the issues and annoyances of everyday life, became nothing but grains of sand at the bottom of a vast ocean. An ocean of great serenity and peace of mind. A body of water so calming and so assuring, he almost shed a tear in complete and utter bliss. It was as if a voice spoke to him. No fear, friend. It seemed to say, this peace of mine is now yours to share. I am thou, and thou art I. If this ends in a fart joke, I'm going to close the game. I swear to God, I will. That, that, I will, I will end the stream if this ends in a fart joke. I will not, I'm not fucking around. It was the single most comfortable stool he had ever sat on. And life would never become the same again. This stool is really comfortable. <laughs> I know. This is like a spiritual experience. It's an amazing stool. It is. Anyway, get on with it. Oh, don't worry. It'll sort itself out. I trust you. Uh, I trust you'll make sure of that, but it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. I understand that. I just I need you to not need you not to worry. It's coming. It better be for your sake. I promise. Will you make it to dinner later? Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world, babe. Smoochy smooch. Cheryl, was that all for today? No, sir, Mr. Bosman. I have Mr. Man here. Uh, to see you like you asked. Oh, that's right. Send the whippersnapper right on in. You heard the boss. Well, chat. I sure hope this is a big promotion. And we're getting moved to maybe like a new branch or something. I gotta sneeze. We're fine. We're fine. All right, let's go. Oh, nice fucking blaze. Ah, uh, got a nice dagger. Now that is the very dagger of his stride too, the legendary King of Atlantis. Legend is that he defeated the evil Lord Mitofru with only his wits and his graceful weapon. After banishing his enemy to the depths, he sealed the, well, seal with the very blade you're looking at. That's unbelievable. I couldn't believe it at first either. But the lady in the gift shop was very convincing. Amazing slice of history, isn't it? What's this for? Oh, that old thing? I, I honestly can't remember. It's been sitting there for a while. I'm not using it, so it's kind of deteriorating. The definition of atrophy added to inventory. Atrophy. Decrease or deterioration due to inactivity or not being in use. <clears throat> wow. Atrophy. A trophy. <laughs> My crowning achievement for back when I did motorsports. That's from the Snacky Bay Jet Ski GP back in 64. I'll never forget racing on those waves. I see you looking at the family sigil. The clan of Bosman goes back a long way, you see. Generation after generation of Bosman have proudly displayed our coat of arms and adage. And what is the Bosman family adage? We are the Bosman. Wow, fancy. An illustrated history of mayonnaise. And ever since the pages yellowed, the pictures are all in color. Wow. Is this a picture of a hammock? Sharply observed, it is indeed a picture of a hammock. Is there a story behind this picture of a hammock? No, it's just a picture of a hammock. Hmm, I guess that proves to show that sometimes a picture of a hammock is just a picture of a hammock. Now that's the kind of insightful thinking that this company is built on, Clam Man. 
Wow, I think we're getting in the chat. This is good. Oh, never mind those silly old trophies. Just little memories from my younger days. You have quite the collection, Mr. Bosman. You do a lot of sports back in the day? Well, some, but a lot of them are from my hobbies. Trophy sculpture and design and such. Oh, I thought they were all achievements. Oh, they are. Have a closer look. Best trophy of show, the award award 78. Huh. Chat, you see, what we're doing right now is we are getting ourselves involved in Mr. Bosman's, you know, interests. He, by the time we get to the fucking desk, we're gonna be his best friend, okay? And he ain't gonna, th this is gonna work out real well for us, you know? You gotta get involved in your boss's fucking life beyond the work, you know? Brown nosing. Stream padding. Hi, welcome to clip point and click games where the whole point of it is that we point and click Sit down buckle up. We're, we're kicking it up in overdrive Ah, now that's a it's a uh, Ask Cheryl on the way out what that is S Don't end up like Steve Ah, yes tragic thing that you see, Steve Malusk used to work for us here. Uh, did a heck of a good job, too, I'll admit. But with success comes pride, I'm afraid, and Steve started taking some unfortunate liberties. He attempted to steal company property. That very stapler you see in his hand. I'm sorry. Am I right to believe that this is the actual body of a former employee? Frozen in Mayanite? Oh, not at all. I did have him frozen at first as a disciplinary measure, but HR didn't like that one bit, so I had to let him out. Decided to make a cast of it, though, as a reminder to everyone. It's really grown on me, too, possibly my favorite decoration. Oh, oh thank God. Don't end up like Steve. Bachelor of Mayonnaise. Master of Mayonnaise. Doctorate of Mayonnaise. I guess I didn't realize there were so many levels of understanding on mayonnaise. And that is why you fail. What? what? Ah, that painting. The technique, the style. And it's so interesting, don't you think? So mysterious, it poses so many questions. Why is she looking over to her left? Why is she wearing an earring? Why is she wearing all those silly clothes? Why is the... Why is she wearing that silly hat? Is there someone else in the room that she's looking at? Do they look as silly as her? Ah, art. Such a wondrous place of imagination and beauty. I fucking hate this kind of shit, chat. Honestly, uh, art, art to, when it gets to art like this, okay, it enters a degree of a bunch of people circle jerking, like, over the course of hundreds of years, okay? Like, I, I'm, I don't wanna be an asshole, but like, Mona Lisa's not that good, all right? I'm just saying it. You can, you can get me now if you want. It's not that crazy. It's like at a certain point, everyone's just looking at it like, you guys all like this? And everyone's like, yeah, we all like it. Oh, then I like it too? Yeah, and like every person in that whole group was that first guy at some point. And they were all just like, so you guys all like this? And everyone's like, oh uh, yeah, we all like it too. And everyone's like, oh, this is the best thing ever then, right? Yeah, this is the best thing ever. Uh, and they're all just fucking still in on it and no one has the guts to be like, yo, this, it's not that crazy. <laughs> Get him. What are you fucking, oh, chat, give me a fucking break. Give me a goddamn break. Look, it's okay to like something, but I don't think any fucking art at all deserves to be like, this thing is worth $10 billion. Honestly. I don't, I don't personally believe that with anything. <laughs> what is it? What do you smell? Manfish. It's him. The manfish. Oh no. What's this? A portrait of Sheikh Jade Yusuf El Dumani. It looked like a pickle for a second. I had a bad fucking feeling we were going into a dangerous realm. I judge a man by the size of his beard, and no beard is bigger than mine. I love it when leaders are humble. Of course, no one is more humble than me. The adorable Murdoch. dog. You're a salty little sea dog, aren't you? Yar. Yar. Tiny portrait. Bobby Blob Bulldozer Champion. He's a wrecking machine. There he is, Bobby Blob. 
Boy, this is opulent. There's something written here, too. There once was a Viking named Doug, with a great beard and ale in his mug. And what he would raid, he would never throw shade. A Viking for sure, not a thug. Very good, and the room's still going. Ah, I quite like that picture. It's of an old army colonel. Were you ever in the army, Mr. Bosman? Well, I once thought I was, but it turned out I wasn't. Oh, okay. Still, though, brings back so many memories. Mr. Bosman, I think the plaque has some... I think the plaque has been removed from the frame on this one. Mm, I removed it myself. I make no reservations regarding that. That portrait speaks for itself. I see. You seem to be interested in the Viking Age, Mr. Bosman. That's an accurate observation, Mr. Man. In a way, I think the Viking Age was a direct continuation of the Iron Age, and the next logical step. Oh, how so? They were both absolutely metal. This is a long fucking room. It's gotta be over. I'm just gonna do one, like, fucking pass across how much I've just had to go through to get to his office desk. All right, now that we're all on the same page, we were probably meant to just beeline it past all this and never read any of it. All right. Ah, clammy, clammy. Clam, clam, Mr. Man, my man. Hello, sir. Oh, no need to be so formal, please. You can call me Mr. Bosman. Right. Uh, you asked to see me, Mr. Bosman? I did, I did, I did. Please take a seat. Oh, it looks like we're fresh out of chairs today. Just a figure of speech, or should I say, a figure of seat. <laughs> you see, I don't really believe in chairs, Mr. Clam. No one ever got any work done by sitting around all day. Anyway, Clammy, the reason I called you in here today is to ask you a question. Uh, um... Do you like fruit pie, Mr. Man? Am I getting fired, sir? <laughs> let's just, let's not waste any time here. Am I getting fired? Skip this. Oh, Clammy, don't worry about that. We've got far more important matters to discuss now. So, fruit pie, Mr. Man? Fruit, fruit pie, sir? I mean, Mr. Bosman? That's right, fruit pie. Uh, I mean, I absolutely adore pie, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> it's coming, Chet. It's coming. Or maybe we're good. Who knows? What, which kind of fruit pie, Mr. Man? What would you say is your favorite? Apple. Apple or fucking blueberry. Easily. Those are the best two. Everything else is a fucking... Everything else is like five more letter grades down. I'm sorry. Definitely apple. Easy. Definitely apple, sir. Aha! See, this is why you're working for Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise, son. That's my favorite fruit pie, too. Except that mine is probably kiwi. But they're essentially the same thing. We're getting fired today. <laughs> Listen, this guy is a fucking wild card. I can't fucking follow him as far. I can't follow him at all. He's gonna fire me. Both fruit, both pie. He is right, though. I, I suppose so, sir. Now, I can tell you're confused. Why is this silly old sausage talking about fruit pies? Well, you see, Clammy. Can I call you Clammy? Uh, sure. You see, Clammy. A company is very much like a fruit pie. Not a meat pie, not a pecan pie, a fruit pie. Aren't all pies pretty similar? Wrong, clam boy! Oh, um, I actually- I'm upset at him for saying that one. Fucking wrong. Fuck you for saying that. What? All pies are similar? Yeah, I mean, that's like saying anything on a plate is similar to anything else on a plate. A, a pie is merely the serving mechanism for the meal, you ass. I'd be- I'd be strangling him with my fucking crab claws right now if I were Mr. Bosman, dude. Wrong! That's a firing- I'd fire him if he said that. Just a figure of speech. Now, the pastry base. That's the framework of the company. That- that's the tools we use. That's the product we sell. The basic building foundation of any successful enterprise. Pastry. 
and the fruit filling. That's you. You and all the hard-working people that place time and effort into their particular fruit pie. Sweet, tangy, delicious. Sometimes people will add some spices to the filling, cinnamon, chocolate. These things are what we place in our workers to bring out the best in them. I see, trust, encouragement, motivation. You see, while a fruit may be delicious in itself, sometimes you have to season it to bring out its full potential flavor. That's why I like to sprinkle you all with my spices. Help! 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 HR! HR! <laughs> Help! Help! Walking around the office adding a dash of trust or a pinch of motivation, I do that to get everyone's sweet, delicious, ripe juices a-flowing. Because those juices, Clammy, are what make a fruit pie to die for. Those tasty juices are good enough to just lick straight off you all. Help! Help again, HR! Help! I, I know you came in, turned around, left again, but I'm not fucking, I'm not joking this time. He, he's really gonna do something he's gonna regret. Now you see, Clemmy, why I think a fruit pie is a very descriptive and accurate metaphor for a successful company? Wrong, I, I honestly think this was me this metaphor is not very good. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Uh, so which part of the pie is management? I'm glad you asked. Well, you see, there are, we, you see, are two things. The creamy, thick goo you put on top. Stop this. Cream? And the chef who bakes this scrumptious treat. See. That's a lot of fruit pies. I don't think I've ever heard the word fruit pie this much in a conversation before. Ah, perhaps something to reflect on. Think about it. Maybe a little more fruit pies in your life would have placed you in my seat. You, do you think so, sir? No, the idea is absurd, but just food for thought. Perhaps even fruit pie for thought. Ha! <laughs> That's why you're the boss, I suppose. But why not a meat pie, sir? Oh, I don't like meat pie. I don't like, I don't like talking about it as much as I like talking about fruit pie. Just the words even, you see, fruit pie. Well, you've made a strong argument, sir. Excellent, excellent. The comparison goes even deeper than that, you see. Much like a management of a company, the topping of the fruit pie sometimes realizes that it's spending more money on the filling than the pastry base can sustain. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, oh no. Now, the topping, delicious as it is, realizes it's not good enough to serve on its own. It needs the juicy filling beneath it. However, the guys from accounting come along and they tell the topping that this filling is some primo expensivo fruit and the delectable topping is forced to make some tough calls. This is such a fucked up way to fire someone. <laughs> I've been in here for 15 minutes. <laughs> you been giving me a metaphor about fucking fruit pies? This is how you get yourself murdered. This is how you get some fucking employee to go postal in like the office. Is by giving them like a 20 minute lesson on fruit pie before you fire them. Oh my God. This is actually how you get killed. You don't, you cannot do this. Please, please no sir. So wanting to remain within budgetary restrictions, yet still retain core competency in the pie, the topping chooses to cut a slice out. This slice was Lindsay. I swear, uh, wait, what? Oh, so that's why Lindsay was fired. She was too expensive fruit. Yes, Clammy, I'm glad you understand. Oh, we're good, chat, we good. We good. We good, baby. It was nothing the whole time. We were, we, it was nothing. It was nothing, baby. Just a bunch of, just a bunch of... Um, obviously, he's worried about everyone missing Lindsay. And I agree, Lindsay was... Lindsay was an important part of the company. He's probably worried that everyone's gonna start... Like, performance is gonna drop, because, you know, morale's gonna drop. Lindsay's gone. He's explaining it to everyone. 
Oh, I see. That's a relief. A relief? How so? Did you get along? Did you not get along well with Lindsay? No, no, no. She was real nice. I just kind of assumed that. Oh, I'm sorry to have confused you. What did you assume? Well, I can see it might have been silly of me, but I thought I was the one being let go. Oh! <laughs> oh, I, I can see how I made you think that. How funny. I was thinking of Lindsay all along. You're also fired, though. Why? <laughs> how long? How long have I been in this office? I was in this office for like 30 minutes of this fucking stream. I've been in here for so long. I yeah, I'm afraid one slice of the pie wasn't enough, you see. Uh, another had to go. I. Will you stop talking about pies then? Now, now, someone's cranky. Maybe just hungry. Why not get some pie? Of course I'm cranky. You're firing me. Well, maybe this sort of attitude is why we're choosing to let you go. I don't understand. The company's doing well. I'm not at liberty to say how well we're doing, see? But you're the boss. How can you not be at liberty to say anything? That's just a figure of speech. I don't know how we're doing. I don't like numbers. Numbers are like meat pie, you see. <laughs> but I've been at this company for years, sir. Why, I just made junior sales. Why me? And you've done a really good job too, Clammy. It's just really a shame to see you go. But you're the one firing me. Yes, it's a real shame. I can't believe this. Well, look at it this way. One door closes, another opens. Oh, I just accidentally skipped it. Uh, he, he probably just sent, told me to get out. Can I at least take the private elevator out? Like the guy you were meeting earlier? Yeah, I'd love to let you, but I really don't want you to. Private elevator, Clammy. Oh, and on your way out, do you think you could tell Cheryl to order me some lunch? I'm all hungry now for some reason. Well... This is a shitty day. Oh, Mr. Clam Man, you got fired from your job. That really sucks, you know. Yeah, it does suck. You got suck. fired from your job. It does suck. Now you're not part of any fruit pie, any size or shape. <laughs> oh no, the Clam Man can't seem to catch a break. Sitting on the subway is always <laughs> kind of dull. But it sucks oh, even it, Jack. more. When you till, do till so we get home, baby. Junior sales representative fired on the spot, assessed and discarded <laughs> without a second thought. <laughs> Waiting at the bus stop, wait, you take the bus as well. <laughs> Not only do you have to ride the subway with no job, <laughs> but you also have to ride a bus to get to where you live. Also, when you ride the bus, you still don't have a job. No! Come home to your no. apartment, and the door is stuck again. What kind of rundown building do you even live in? Sorry, I don't mean to <laughs> It's not my place to say. Also, do you remember you got laid off today? Oh, oh, Mr. Clan, no. I do have to admit, oh. as of today, your life has really turned to sh. I see. <laughs> I see. Well, this got sad. Ah, uh, uh, I hate falling asleep on the couch. Uh, hang on, I'm coming. One minute. This is my plant. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Tiny paintings. Just friends and family. I bought that painting to cover up the crack in the wall. I didn't like it at first, but it's growing on me. Same the crack keeps growing, too. 
fell asleep watching the new episode of the McGregorson Boys. I still don't get what the show is about, but I really like it. Horsey bank. Poor little dude. He only eats change, and at this rate, we're both starving. At least it looks like another nice day. Having a view like this can really lift your mood. Hey! Hey, you! Me? Yeah, ugly! Get away from the window! You're ruining my view! Oh. <laughs> wow, this game's getting sad, Chad. <laughs> This is, a, this is a sad clam. I didn't even make it to bed last night. Zoned out in front of the TV and then just kind of fell asleep. That sofa was not made for sleeping. My back is killing me. Been meaning to talk to Ivan about that sink. It's been leaking for a while now. I mean, I should talk to him, but I, I don't want to. That man scares me, and I, I think I'd rather just have wet feet than wet myself seeing him. <coughs> True, 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 true. I invested in that pineapple a while back. They say it's never too late to get into the pineapple business. It's basically free real estate. He's right, he's right, he's right, he's right, he's right. Is my coat? <laughs> if a trench coat gets all wet, is it a drench coat? Yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! I bet that's actually the first time you ever heard that one, chat. Late notice, overdue, just a bunch of unpaid bills piling up, like my worries. Hello? Hello, Mr. Clam. Oh, good morning, Nat. Up doing chores for your dad? Yes, sir. Dad told me that tomorrow morning you go see Deadbeat at the end of the hallway, Natalia. I write you what to say, very important business, Natalia. That's quite a job for a six-year-old. But I'm real smart, I can do it. Anyway, my dad gave me a whole list of things to tell you. Can I read them for you? Well, I I'd hate to get in the way of your chores, Nat. Go ahead. Yay! <clears throat> Mr. Clanman, as you know, you live in a very nice building. For a long time, rent has been very low for you because of my nice person. But being a landlord is not all laughs and jokes. Sometimes, you have to make tough calls. This is why I decide rent is now double. <laughs> Man, this coming from a six-year-old is rough. <laughs> this, is a, this is a rough, uh, this is a rough break, this one. Uh, I'm sorry, Nat. What was that last part? Rent is now double. Oh, I see. Is there any more written there? Yeah, there's more. It is also very important to pay extra rents now. Extra rents? Yes, that is what I said. Three months rent you paid this month. For I have any questions, ask Natalia. Three months and rent is double? Does your dad know how much money that is? That's almost... Oh, can I do the math? Please, 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 please. <sighs> Short thing, Nat. Yay! Uh... Uh... She's doing the math in her head right now. She's doing the math. Uh, <laughs> she's thinking, you know, we don't want to rush her. Uh, Is it 13 rents? Uh, no, that's not it, Matt. That's not quite it. Is it five rents? Nope, that's not it either, Nat. Is it 12 teen rents? Nope, that's not it either. Is it 15 rents? No. 17 rent? No, 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 that's not it. 12 teen again? No, I did not. I already told you that's not. 19? No, Nat, it's none. It's not. Rents isn't a, rents isn't a unit of value for... That is it 16? No, Nat. 
19 again. No. 20. No. 20. <laughs> <laughs> Just let her win? I'm sorry, chat. I don't get any wins. So if I got to win by shooting down this six-year-old turtle kid, I will. Fuck them. Screw them. I win. They're wrong. I'm right. You're not right. 15. Okay, I give up. Yeah, you got it. Yay. Does your dad say why I'm supposed to pay all that? Living expenses, very expensive. That's it? How? What could be that expensive? Uh, I, I know. We're going on vacation. You are? I, I, that's nice, Nat. Yeah. Dad says it's going to be a really long vacation, too. We're packing almost everything in the house. I see. You're not moving, though? No. Dad said to make that very clear to everyone. Right. So rent is double for everyone in the building? I don't know. But Dad, said, but Dad told me I need to speak to most of the other people that live here, too. And that it's all very important business. There's a bunch of people in this building. If everyone pays three months of double rent, that's a lot of money. Wow. What would you do with that kind of money, Mr. Clam? Probably pay my rent. I'd buy one of those big digging machines. Digging machines? Yeah. Me and my dad went and saw a bunch of them the other day. I, I thought they were super cool, but I don't think Dad liked them. He looked worried. Are you talking about excavators? Exca- Oh, 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 oh. What, Nat? There was something about excavators in my note. <clears throat> P.S. Natalia, do not mention excavator or bulldozer. Also, do not mention vacation. Also, do not read this part out loud. So how's school going? Let's just, let's just fucking, let's just have some small talk, I guess, before my character, I guess, probably dies or whatever. Good. Everyone's parents came to school last week. We got to show them our drawings, and, when they, and then they talked to our teachers. Did your dad get along well with them? They said he was really intimidating, so I think they liked him. Thing is, I just got fired. Oh! Dad wrote a thing in case you said that. You better get a new job quick. Oh. Well, it's not really that simple. Don't argue. Get job. I... Shot trap muscle boy. What's muscle boy? Uh... Alright, thanks, Nat. Tell your dad I got the picture. Yay! It was very nice talking to you, Mr. Clam. You too, Nat. You be good now. Pay up. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, boy. Okay, stay positive. I'm getting a call. Hey, man, it's me, Pete. I heard what happened, but you left, woke, you, you left work before I woke up. Astonishing. Let's meet up, dude. You sound like you need a coffee. Like you wouldn't believe. Regular spot. I'll meet you there in 15 minutes. Sounds good. All right, Jet. Stuff ain't looking great. At all. But you know what? We still got, we still got our boy. We still got our boy, Coffee Boy. Remember Coffee Boy? We met him for a little bit. We talked to him. He was about the only normal person we talked to all day. We still got Coffee Boy. The duck is nigh. Uh. Yo, citizen, have you prepared your soul for the judgment of the duck? Hey, Bill. Oh, hey, dude. I'm out on my daily patrol. People re people ready for the duck this time, you think? Not really. For some reason, they just keep walking past me. Joke's on them, though. They'll get what's coming to them, though. Talking about the coming of the quack over here. Anyway, the duck is coming soon enough, I'm sure of it. So what's the deal with the duck again? 
I'm glad you asked. The duck of truth sees all and knows all, and he strikes wherever he is needed. Criminals and wrongdoers, liars and cheats, they will all be struck by the duck. Duck struck. I thought he was just supposed to be a kind of superhero. Better even, supreme hero. Do you do this all day? Doesn't it get like boring? Boring? Not at all. Waiting for the duck is a fantastic and exciting experience full of wonder and awe at the feathered fascination. But to be practical about it, I usually do two, three hour shifts. Keeps me nice and hyped when I get to have lunch in between. What's new on the streets, man? Look around, dude, not much. King and the city council still don't give a crap about this part of town. King the mayor? No, King who runs the Chinese place down on Subterranean Street and 4th. Of course I'm talking about the mayor! We got crime, run down streets, smashed windows, bums on every corner. Hey, I know you just lost your job, but don't be so hard on yourself. <sighs> How did he... He just... He just reversed me. He just used Uno reverse. Totally destroyed me. I wasn't talking about me. That's the spirit. Only thing we gotta keep us safe is the... Duck. Did I mention the duck? You might have. Wait, how did you know I lost my job? I was listening to the song earlier. The guy mentioned it about a hundred times. The song was public? Oh no. Oh no, the song was public. That's public domain. Everyone knows I'm fired. Everyone knows. I'll be on my way then. Beware the gaze of the duck. I heard that bin falling over last night. I feel like this music's a little loud. There we go. Put down like one tiny notch. I heard that bin falling over last night. Looks like nobody's cleaning it up. Man, what happened to this part of town? What is this big shell? Spooky. Ghostly, even. Cat. Building sure looks a lot nicer from the inside. That's not saying much, though. All right, chat. Wait, there's a mailbox. Caught on the net. Are your children being lured into web fishing? Full story on page 11. I remember when a snacky bay post was all about tackling real big stories. Now they just get people hooked on sensational headlines. All right, snacky bay's very own vigilante, a duck. Guess that's the hero we deserve. Well, chat, let's get a move on. Our friend is waiting for us down the street. Shop window. I don't have time for window shopping. I can't even afford window shopping. Cars driving by, clothes lines. Ironic. Ah! Oh, how's that supposed to dry out there if we're in the middle of the ocean, baby? There's no wind down here. There's no wind to dry that. Chad, look, think about it. Think about it. You can clap. It's okay. Organic sandbags, eco friendly. Huh. Ah! Come to have a look at my wares, I see. Don't worry, I might be on the street, but there's nothing streety about the quality of my products. Streety? Street vendor lin lingo. Don't read too much into it. Anyway, you were looking to buy a sandbag? You're selling sandbags? Yes, sir, only the finest quality sandbags. Actual sandbags. I almost thought it was, I don't know, street talk for something else. Uh, I think it, that says more about you than it does about me. We only fill our sandbags with the finest organic sand. Tell me more about how you make your sandbags. Ah, bit of a baggy, are you? <laughs> well, you'll be glad to learn that all of our sandbags are handcrafted. Our workers use the finest materials, hemp, linen, cotton, and lovingly dry out the and cut the shape and patterns for our trademark bags. 
They then sew the pieces together carefully and with immaculate precision to form stunning organic bags. Our foragers then go out to the most undisturbed beaches and handpick every single grain of sand after a sufficient amount has been collected. They then transport the sand by carrier jellyfish. At the workshop, our fillers remove the sand carefully from the little bags attached to the dead, delicate jellyfish tentacles. The jellyfish are then left to roam free for three years so they don't tire out. We take the artisan bags and then gently pour the sand into them, making sure not to overfill them. After optimal sand levels have been achieved, we sew the bags together completely, creating a beautiful, holistic piece of art. The sandbags are then brought to me by Seahorse, and I handle them and sell them with the care they deserve. I didn't realize so much work went in the sandbags. Few people do. Did you always want to work with sandbags? Well, when I was a little boy, I planned on carrying my father's business. What did he do? Crime. Huh. But you know, as you grow up, you realize what you really love and want to dedicate your life to. So, sandbags? Love them. Why work in on the street? Why not get a shop? I like to get down to the street level. Nothing makes the sandbag connoisseurs happier than getting sandbags in their own neighborhood. On their way to work, to the store to pick up their kids. Since I'm out already, I might as well pick up a new sandbag for the living room. That sort of thing. Sounds like a pretty niche market. Oh, it is, but there's always competition. Really? In the sandbag industry? What, online? No, no, just down the street. Uh, I didn't even see them until now. <laughs> oh my God. What an ass. What? Are you kidding? What? Tiny rock cloth container vendor. I was unaware that there was competition in this industry. What the fuck? This new guy set up shop a while back. Never thought I'd see two sandbag salesmen in one day, let alone on the same street. Well, the general public have really opened their eyes to the versatility and usefulness of a good sandbag. Go on, give me any problem you might face in day-to-day -day life, and I'll tell you how a sandbag would solve it. Uh, cracks in the wall? I'll uh, just pile up 20 sandbags. You'll have a cool, hip new wall, and your wall cracks will be cleverly disguised. And if you pile them all the way up to the ceiling, it's a load-bearing, too. You could practically knock out the old wall. Kiss that crack goodbye. How about not being able to pay the rent? Our bags are redeemable in most of our stores. You can practically use them as currency. I still have to buy the bags, though. That's why I'm always telling people to invest in us. No money in the bank, still got things in the bag. What about broken sink? Throw out the sink, put it in the bag instead. Then how would I do the dishes? Eat off the bag, and Viola, no dishes, problem solved. This guy gets it. What the fuck is happening here? Chat, I might invest. Viola, voila. Sorry, chat. Uh, hang on. Just putting you in emo mode for like 10 seconds gets rid of all the embarrassment of mispronouncing something because you guys just like have no choice. You can't like type words like this, you know? So I'll just put you in there for like a half a second. Or just enough time for you to forget about it and think about something else. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a peek. Damn it! Hang on, I'm putting you back in. <laughs> Hang on, I'm putting you back in for another second. Okay. I'm dunking you back in. Okay, now. La, la, la. Oh, fuck. You know, it's just bad. Uh, what if I just lost my job? You know, I feel a lot of people could use more free time. People work themselves to death nowadays, running around and constantly stressing about things. There's more to this world than a job and money, you know? See past the material things. Bye, chat. I'm actually saying bye to you for a little bit. You're zoo bidding? I thought I made that clear. Now I gotta leave you in here. Now I gotta leave you in the fucking timeout room. Till you've behaved. See past the material things. You don't need a fancy car or an expensive apartment. Live life more freely. That's what I say. Go places. Travel. Experience. Get a sandbag? Exactly. Dare to dream.
people hunting you down with firearms. Uh, this is getting hunting me down with firearms. Uh, mm. Well, you got me there. Really? Use a sandbag? It's like a shield, dude. Easy. Sandbag, sandbag body shield. That one's like nothing. I guess you made your point. Whatever. I'll just be on my way then. Thanks. Stop by anytime. Bag boy needed. Guess I could apply for that. Hey, that's nice. Might be able to get a job from this chat. All I can see is a sports section. It might be a goal. Celebrations as local sports team wins sports event, the ball. Does it go through a hoop or between two poles? Our panel of experts share their thoughts. No end in sight for sports journalist strike. Oh. Well, what's this guy like? You look like a man who knows quality. Well, you've come to the right place. Only the finest tiny rock cloth containers here, sir. You're selling sandbags too? Slash! No. We are selling tiny rock cloth containers, sir. Only the best. Isn't that just a sandbag? No, it's not. I don't see the difference. Our name is way catchier and way more descriptive, sir. Also, one of the two is copyrighted, the other one isn't. You want to tell me about how you make your products? What? Take back. Take shant. Feel bad with shant. Next question. I guess that's what I should have expected. We like to be direct with our customers, sir. No fancy words, no sleazy sales pitches, just good, solid sample. Oh, fuck, fuck. Tiny rock plot containers. So why do I need a sandbag? I, I mean, a uh, tiny rock cloth container. When don't you need a tiny rock rock container? <laughs> I can't think of anything now, but see, can't live without them. Why should I buy them from you though? Just take a look at my words. No fuss, all quality. We make solid containers built to last. This isn't about trendy hipster accessories. This is the real deal. The real sandbag for real man. Oh my God. You mean, Tiny rock cloth container. Ah, oh, crap, I did it again. I can't afford another visit from those lawyers. Why call them tiny rock cloth containers? Copyright issues. Typical, isn't it? We've been selling them for ages, and then someone comes along with a piece of paper, and bang, we get shafted. But why tiny rock cloth containers? Surely there must be a better name. Like what? Uh... Gravel sec? Gravel isn't sand, man. You'd know if you were in the business. Soil pouch? Soil comes from the very upper layer of the earth. So? Oh, right. Silt pocket. You don't even know what silt is, do you? I do know what the definition of atrophy is, though. Try it again, wise guy. I can't believe I only have the definition of atrophy in here. Fuck. Also, we might have been able to win that one. Granule gunny? That's what I call my grandma. Grain poke. Are you looking up synonyms to bag somewhere? Nobody knows what a poke is. Pebble pot? Sounds like a penguin, not a sandbag. Ah! Oh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna take off emo mode. I, I wanna see lols in the chat. I wanna see some lols in the chat right now, dude. Come on, give me some lols. Come on, can I get some lols in the chat for that one? Viola. I had lots of viola. Oh no. Where's my harmonica? I can distract you with song. I learned how to play a song on the, the harmonica, dude. You guys wanna hear something? You guys wanna hear something? Like that? Learned that one, Made, wrote that one myself. What do you think? You like that? You like that? You like that? 
You like this one? You like that? Huh? How about you like that one? How about I turn it up? My ears! Now it's the sound of harmonica, motherfucker. Don't make me pull it out again. It's not funny more, it's a punishment. All right, chat? I swear to God. What was the name of the first song? Uh, I made it up and I lied. I haven't used this harmonica since I got it. It was $5. Here's another one. What that? Yeah, baby, yeah! Yeah, you like that! Everyone owns a harmonica, they're cheap as shit. Uh, let's call it a ballast. Uh, wait, that, that, that actually works. Crap. I can't think of anything else. I'm gonna head off now. Come back when you're itching for quality. Maybe I do need a sandbag. I mean, they are versatile after all. Uh, but which, but which one do I get though? Oh, fuck. I got this strange feeling that this is an incredibly important decision that'll greatly impact my life somehow. Tiny rock containers! Don't pass up on this bargain! Oh no, chat. Alright, I'm gonna have to straw poll this. We gotta ask the people. Sandbag? Or tiny rock container. You guys must decide. You must go. Go. Go, 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 go. Tiny rock container is absolutely thrashing. Uh, this one so far. It's not even that close. It's not even close at all right now. Oh my god, people hate sandbags. Organically sourced. Tiny rock containers got heart, dude. No one wants you to give money to a hippie? I don't even have money. What's my guy fucking talking about? I'm gonna buy the tiny rock containers. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, Chad. I like that. I like- I like that one. Let's do tiny rock containers. You've made a smart choice, sir. Here's your tiny rock container, enjoy! Wow, there it is. Sturdy and practical. Wow. Let's keep on- let's head on over, chat. What the fuck? Here we are! Pete's probably inside waiting for me. Dancing jellyfish. You boys seem to be having a good time, you know. That does look like fun. Oh! Something's gonna go wrong. Something always goes wrong. Hey, you all right, Daddy-o? Real hip, man, real hip. Oh, he was saying, hey, you all right, Daddy-o. Like, you all right? Hey, man, you all right? They like me. I'm hip with the jellyfish. Real hip. We're hip. You stay cool now. I'm going in. Looks like there's a big pile of boxes in there. Anyways, can't keep Pete waiting. The cafe. Oh no. Fruit pies? I don't know, man. Kept going on and on about them. And then, just like that? Yeah, just like that. I don't know what to make of it. You guys going to need anything else? Nah, we're good, Dex. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye, Snacky Bay Prime Mayo. It doesn't make sense, though. Why you? Did he say? Not really, no. I don't get it either. Also, something sketchy. Sketchy? How, how so? There's no reason for people to be laid off. Yeah, I hear the company's been doing really well. That's what I said. We're shipping more mayonnaise now than ever before. You know... I meant to talk to you about that. We are shipping a lot of mayonnaise, but surprisingly large part of it is promotional. Promotional mayonnaise? Promo mayo? Yeah, 
Samples, tests, reimbursements, stuff like that. Loads and loads. Why though? Why so much free mayo? Beats me. And then there was those 50 tons of mayo that just went missing. Lost. So the... So is the company doing well? If we're... They're spending that much on getting the brand out and also losing huge shipments of mayo. That doesn't sound like a company doing well. So is it just a lie? A rumor they've spread to keep everyone happy? Like I said, dude, beats me. I mean, there's no reason for me to be laid off. I'm a, I'm a junior sales representative. Bosman even said so himself. You were made junior sales, what, two months ago? Barely even that. No one gets promoted, only get fired. Not without some reason. It does seem more likely that they'd just demote you instead, for sure. That means the most likely reason for you being fired doesn't, didn't exist until sometime these last two months. So what happened? The past two months? Probably a whole lot. Maybe we can narrow it down somehow. Bosman was acting suspicious. Suspicious? What do you mean? You know, what he's like. Usually it's all talk of synergy and workflow and buzzwords and shit like that. But he tries to act like he's your best friend. This time, it was different. He wasn't giving me any straight answers, just changing the subject. You guys want some fruit pie? No, we're fine. Anyway, never offer us that again, Dex, thanks. Also, he was meeting someone before I came in. Did you see who? No, and Cheryl had no idea either. Whoever they were, they left with Bosman's private elevator. So no one but Bosman knew who it was. Hear what they were talking about? See, that's the thing. Something about... Needing something done, and there was a certain tension in the hostility in there. So, it could just have been his wife, but why be so secretive about his wife? It does sound strange. So you think something's amiss? Something's definitely off. I think it's the fruit pie. I'm glad you guys didn't have any. It's definitely gone bad. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just having a hard time dealing with this whole situation. You did get fired. But then again, so did poor Lindsay. Yeah, wow, you know, I almost completely forgot about her. Well, she's in the same situation as you. Maybe she knows something. You're right. I, I should go talk to Lindsay. If only I knew where she lives. I don't, I don't know where she lives, but I've seen her office. Not pretty. Her office? Saw it on the way here. Just outside into the alley. Into the alley? Yeah, just outside in the near left, past the garbage. What, she's... She's there now? Yeah, it seems like a pretty good time to talk to her, all things considered. Remember, I, I told you she looked... At, she took it pretty hard. Lindsay? Lindsay? Lindsay, you in here? Lindsay! I guess they take the deliveries in, the tr uh, uh, in and the trash out through the back door. So what's Lindsay doing here? Lindsay! The box on top says mailbox. The other one says undefined box. It's a box gate. Is this supposed to be some kind of door? Wait, it says something at the top. Snacky Bay Prime Relish. Prime Relish? Oh, she's lost her fucking mind. Oh, no. Oh, no. It says water cooler. Is this supposed to be an office? It looks like Lindsay's world got turned upside down. Then again, I shouldn't be surprised. Stranger things have happened. It's a plant in a tin can. I don't know much about the plant, but the can is very unsettling. The sheet says cubicle wall. Looks like the place is still under construction. Lindsay? That one doesn't say anything. I guess it's... Dad dies. I'm not gonna bother. Hello, sir. Welcome to Snacky Bay Prime Relish. I'm not bothering. I'm not doing that. Nope. <clears throat> Voice can't do it today. Not today. How can I help you? Lindsay? What are you doing here? Why, I work here, silly. This is my job. Same job I've had for ages. Ha <laughs> ha. Lindsay. You were fired yesterday, don't you remember? Me? Fired? Oh, no, no, I, I wasn't. You must be confusing me with someone else. I, I've been with the company for years and years. There's no way they could fire me. Why, that would be horrible. Can you imagine? 
I lose my marbles. <laughs> no, I've been with Snaggy Bait Prime Relish a good while back, sir. What's all this, then? Oh, silly, it says what right by the door. Snacky Bay Prime Relish. This is our corporate headquarters. So this is your new office? Well, I certainly don't know about new, but yes, this is my office. Now, how can I help you? Did you build all this yourself in one day on your own? This whole office? Oh, don't be silly. That's all the company, those nice construction work. It's all cardboard, Lindsay. It doesn't take... Wait, did Herman have anything to do with this? And that nice heavy-duty construction crane? You sell relish? Who buys relish? Loads of people. Relish is delicious. Waking up to a slice of relish on toast is the best part of everyone's day. Stop right there. Stop right there. Beep, beep, beep. Call the cops, chat. We got him. We got him. Food crimes. We got them. Food crimes. Go to jail. People do that? They should. The Clam Man was developed by a multicultural team of various faiths and beliefs, and the views and opinions expressed by any characters in game do not necessarily state or reflect those of the studio or its management. We would like to make it clear that we do not condone or encourage any activities relish and toast related. That is just vile. I see. Anyway, I was fired too, Lindsay. I don't know why, that's why I came to see you. We both been fired on the same day for seemingly no reason. Do you have any idea what this is about? I keep telling you, sir, I don't. I wasn't fired, I've been working here forever. Right, sounds like she's in complete denial. If I want some answers out of her, I gotta play it smart. So, uh, everything running smoothly at Snacky Bay Prime Relish? Oh, yes, I'd say so. Sounds like a wonderful company to work for. Oh, absolutely. I just love my job, and I love Relish. I'm sure. Nothing beats a steady and secure work environment. You know, everything just works. No layoffs or anything like that. My guy is trying to make this poor bastard synap like a fucking twig. This psycho is pushing her to her absolute limits. Her brain is gonna explode. Yes, no layoffs. No one getting fired. Absolutely no one getting fired. And if they did, I'm sure the company would have a good reason for it. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? She doesn't seem to respond well to anything regarding getting fired. I need to try something else. Anything out of the ordinary lately? Out of the ordinary? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Any big changes at work? Any events planned? You know, rumors? Gossip? Oh, you shouldn't listen to gossip. It's all so baseless and malicious. Malicious? Sounds like something. Sounds like some pretty bad rumors then. I mean, it's just rumors in general. No, I tend to do my job as well as I can, just to be nice to all my code work, co all my wonderful co-workers, so it's all business as usual. That's right, smooth sailing. Guess I have to be more specific. Any big sales lately? Oh, loads. It's hard to work, you know, taking care of those massive shipments. But the management trusts me 100%. So all sales go through you? Well, all sales and shipments within the city. Exports isn't really my area. I see, so you've got a pretty good grasp on all the may- I, I, I mean relish moving around the city. That's right, both promotional and commercial. You do a lot of promotional relish? Actually, lately we've done tons. I'm overseeing all of it. But like I said, management trusts me completely. They wouldn't bat an eye if I went through every single shipment just to make sure everything is cleared and good to go. I mean, it's not like Anything, there's anything I shouldn't see? Ha 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 ha. I, I, I'm sorry, I must, I, I must be boring you. Something she should see. Mm. This office doesn't seem very crowded. Uh, where are your co-workers? Oh, um, they must all be out right now. Everyone's out? Where did they go? Probably a team building exercise. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be it. Without you. Well, I, I mean, I, I get along so well with everybody already. You can't spell smells like... Team spirit without Lindsay. Hang on. 
There's no N. There's no N in there. Or Y. Or D. Lindsay. What about the N? Oh, I- Chat, this game, just like fucking Frog Detective, dude. This game <laughs> literally fucking auto-completes the shit I would say in real world because we're just like, we're just so on- We're just- like we're, we're in the same fucking zone right now all the time, dude. What about the N? What? The N in Lindsay. And the D. The Y? Why, why? Oh, I, I was just being funny, you silly goose. That was an awful joke. Everyone's out. Where did they go? Oh, I, I, I you covered this. That's odd. They didn't take you with them? Oh, yeah, so wonderful punch they are. It's all jokes and good times. Mutual respect all around. That sounds real nice, Lindsay. So you trust all your co-workers completely? Oh, I do, I do, I do! Like I said, everyone respects everyone. You know, everyone minds their own business and their own jobs. Yeah, Herman does both. No snooping around, you know? Just everything real great. Why would someone be snooping around? I, um... Did I say snooping around? I must have misspoke. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's talk about something else, shall we? You never told me what I could help you with today. Snooping around? Did someone see her do something? Ran around? Your boss treats you well? My boss? Mr. Grosman? Of, of course he does. So you get along with him? Certainly, Mr. Bo Mr. Grosman is a really nice boss. So understanding and so sympathetic. Just a wonderful person to work for. Right, no problems? Not a single one. Every workday is a day to relish. To relish, huh? Are you and your boss close? Close? I'm not sure what you're trying to say here. I mean, are you good friends? To a degree that is appropriate for work, I'd say. Oh, you, are you insinuating something here? No, no, uh, just asking if he's nice and all, you know? He's very, very nice and polite and not my type at all. And you're making me feel all embarrassed, hee <laughs> hee. Well, that went a completely different direction than I thought it would. Let's try something else. So you feel you could talk to him about anything? Well, certainly not any, everything, but all things work-related for sure. So very much mutual trust then. I, yes, absolutely. Everyone trusts me completely, including my boss. So you trust him? Well, I, yes, of course I do. I mean, what kind of employee would I be if I didn't trust my employer completely? I, I wouldn't work for a man I didn't fully trust. That makes sense. So Mr. Grosman is an upstanding person. No skeletons in the closet? No, none. Hmm, Mr. Grosman would never hide anything from us. Mr. Grosman is always honest and... I'm sorry, why are you asking about this again? Just making small talk, Lindsay. However, do you think hypothetically, if you found out your boss had some kind of dirty secret, you would... Would you quit? Or do you think he'd, I don't know, fire you if he found out you knew? Lindsay. Lindsay. Lindsay, I'm talking to you here. I, that's. Oh, can we stop talking about work? It just gets so dreary and drawn out. Let's talk about something else, shall we? This Mr. Grosman sounds like everything Mr. Bosman isn't. She's making that pretty clear. Lindsay, let's be honest. Did you see something you shouldn't see? And someone caught you? I. And something that goes all the way to the top? Something Mr. Bosman knew about? Maybe even planned? I. I was so careful. I wasn't snooping around, I swear. Lindsay, I, I believe you. What did you see? What happened? It's all about the mayonnaise clam man. It's all about the mayonnaise. Lindsay, what are you saying? I... I think I've said too much. They told me to stay quiet. They... I... Oh, um, is that the phone? What? Uh, ringing. Ring, ring, ring. 
Lindsay, you're just saying ring, ring, ring. Oh, oh no, I'm pretty certain it's ringing. Yes, positively. Oh, it's coming from downstairs. I have to take this. Oh, it's been wonderful chatting with you. Let's talk again sometime. Lindsay, I... Ring, 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 ring. Sorry, I gotta go. Have a wonderful day. Lindsay? Lindsay, I can still see you. No, you can't. I'm in the basement. Ring, 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 ring. Fine. Take care, Lindsay. I hope you get better soon. You too. Poor thing. But now I know something shady is happening at Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise. Guess I should try to figure out what instead of looking for a real job and moving on with my life. Maybe Pete can help me. Don't worry, Lindsay. I'll sort this out for the both of our sakes. You'll be all right. Everything is fine. Let's drop this. <sighs> Let's ride, chat. We're the hero of this story. Sounds like the two of you had a lovely chat about nothing. It was about nothing, wasn't it? I'm sorry, what? You heard me, Chowderhead. I'm sure you can tell, but our mutual boxy friend there has a, had a rough day or two. We wouldn't want to make things worse for her now, would we? That doesn't so seem... Like something good friends would do, does it? Good friends don't make others feel bad. Good friends know to respect and be understanding of our problems. Give space and unconditional support and care for friends. Two trees with separate trunks, but crowns of leaf that intertwine. Who was saying that? Is that this guy? I thought it was her. I thought it was Lindsay from downtown. That's the starfish. I didn't see his mouth moving because my microphone obscures that part of my screen. That's beautiful, Patrop. Yeah, that's real nice, nail on the head. It's a real important thing, friendship. Most important thing in the world. Like breakfast. So I'm sure you, I'm sure a good person like you would know when to back off, ain't that right? You're telling me not to talk to Lindsay anymore. Well, I think feel like that would ruin your friendship with her is all. I mean, if you can't, if you completely stop talking with her. That's, that's not what we try to advocate, bro. Bro. Ah, my voice is too fucking crusty to do the voice, so I'd switch his voice to that, bro, you know. Friends are family. We wouldn't want to break up family. Not our goal here. Right. We just think that maybe you shouldn't be talking to her with your words. You know, still hang out and talk. Just don't use any words. Eyes can see plenty in hands. A lot of, uh, a lot of how people perceive you is body language, you know? Exactly. So we're saying... Leave her alone, but not completely. Don't talk to her with words. I think that scenario would be best for all of us. Are you guys trying to intimidate me? Yes. Oh. You're free to email us later and tell us how well we did, though. It's mobboys.feedback at snackymail.com It's from a scale of 1 to 10. You guys aren't making any sense. I feel we made the point very clear. Yes, a very polite, non-threatening sort of threat. Some people just don't listen, boys. It's all about me, me, me. Rude. Very. It's best for me if I don't speak to Lindsay again? Not just you. All of us. That way, everyone is real happy. No one can talk to Lindsay anymore. No, we say it's better for all of us if you don't speak to Lindsay. You guys still speak to Lindsay? Not a lot, really. We're not really all that close. More of a sort of acquaintance level friendship. Say hello uh, if we meet on the street, that sort of thing. 
This is making me more confused. It's real easy. One, you don't talk to Lindsay anymore. Two, you still remain friends with Lindsay, so we don't make us sad. Three, everyone is better off. I don't care what you guys say. I'll talk to anyone I want to. No, you won't. Yes, I will. No, you won't. Oh, I will. No, you won't. S I super will, though. Nope, you won't. Oh, I'll talk to her super hard. Definitely not. I'll use all the words. You'll use none of the words. Why not? What? Why can't I talk to her? Because I said so. And what if I do talk to her? There'll be trouble. What kind of trouble? Trouble, trouble. Triple trouble. The kind of trouble you don't walk away from because it's so bad. The worst kind of trouble. All right, all right, all right. Let, let's take it easy here. Fine, I'll be quiet. That's a good boy. Now, why don't you go about your business and stop minding everyone's business? Yeah, no more snooping around. No more digging for answers. Go out and enjoy a beautiful day instead. Pick up a new hobby, read a book, improve yourself. Buy a sandbag. Travel, do something. Take mind off of all this, yeah? That's solid advice, boys. You guys are really wholesome for a bunch of mobsters. That's very nice of you to say. Yeah, we appreciate that. The world would be a beautiful place if everyone paid compliments to fellow man. <laughs> He's right, bro. All right, boys, looks like our job is done here and you stop snooping around. Yeah, you made that clear. Good. What do you say, boys, after work lattes? I love lattes. It's a delicious beverage. All right, let's move out. See you around, chowder boy. Chowder boy. Chowder boy snoops around, act two. That's right, chat, we don't listen to the rules. <laughs> it's funny how life can turn on you. Just when you think you figured it all out. You think, just because you have made minor s junior sales representative, you're set. Good to go. See you later. Thanks for all the fish. Bye-bye, Mom and Dad. You settle into a comfortable groove, a slow rhythm, the beating of a complacent heart. You grow soft, soft, malleable, ready to be squeezed into the next allegorical cubicle of life. Worst of all, you grow indifferent. You let them gnaw away at you, raise the city you've built. And the streetlights die out like fireflies in a rainstorm. The neon signs, hysterical, naked. Hey. <clears throat> hey, man. You monologuing over here? I. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, okay, don't let me stop you. Please go on. Eventually, everything around you crumbles. You don't even know. You don't even see it. Maybe it's willful ignorance. Maybe you know deep down all along this is what it's. Have a had a bad day, huh? I. Well, yeah. Yesterday wasn't great. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it relationship problems? No, it's not relationship problems. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's not relationship problems. Well, all right. Don't let me stop your monologue. Please keep going. Maybe you knew this could happen. Maybe you experienced this happen. But when it did, you just weren't... I I'm sorry. Can I help you with something? No, no, no. Don't worry about me. I I'm good. Thank you. Y you, go you, on the other hand, sound very distressed. Anything I can help you with? Need someone to talk to? I'm fine. I, I just got fired the other day, so I'm kind of in a rut. Right? Ah, that sucks. Yeah. Why'd they let you go? I don't know, to be honest. I've been spending the past day or so trying to figure that out. And? 
Nothing but a few theories that I can't back up. Nothing but substantial, nothing substantial, no evidence. And earlier today, some guys told me to quit asking questions that I'd get into trouble. Heavy. Sounds like some pretty bad dudes. Actually, as far as threats go, they were really nice about it. Huh. So, are you giving up? Hey, here's an idea. I know a place. Go to the location written on the card. Chances are, whatever the answers you're looking for, you'll find them there. Blue Oyster Club. Live music, spirits, and wine. Wait, what? Blue Oyster Club? You want me to go to a restaurant? Hello? Was that the duck? Or is that a dolphin? What was that thing? It looked like a duck. Chet? It looked like a duck. It looked like it was... The duck. Where'd you go? I guess I might head over to that restaurant. Could use a bite to eat. Could have been a goose. It's absolutely not a goose. It should be up ahead. The storm is here. Heavyweight heroes square off in title bout. The Baz, the fighter forever wandering from the ring to ring. Will he make this one his home? Rage, the former furious lord of the black eye. Can he be stopped? This Sunday, these two former training buddies will no longer be friends. <gasps> no. There's the mayor and some indication of the support he has in this part of town. A couple of spray cans. Looks like the colors have been named. Upsettingly red and gritty jet black. Huh, considering what they were used for, that's both tellingly said and witting and a witty payback. Hmm. I just did. Ah! Oh, there he goes, buddy! I just interacted and inspected a word that said stop on the ground, and my guy said, I just did. Bada bingus. Nah, I should probably just head inside the club, seeing as I'm already here. I can do senseless wandering afterwards. The amount of posters would suggest this is a pretty popular club. The lack of any people waiting to get in suggests otherwise. What are you trying to suggest? Oh, I, just a thought I expressed. Can I make a request? Sure, get it off your chest. Shut it. Oh. Hey. Hey there. Evening, sir. What can I do for you? I w was hoping to get in the club. Don't we all, mate? Don't we all? This is the hottest club in Snacky Bay right now. Everybody who's somebody comes to Blue Oyster. That's impressive. Looks like a pretty quiet night tonight, though. Nah, mate. Exclusive night. Pretty exclusive night tonight. Think I'm exclusive enough to go inside? Depends. You on the list? The list? Yeah, the list. What's your name? Clam Man. All right, let's... What, your, your name is Clam Man? Yeah, that's weird. What? You are a clam man, and your name is Clam Man. Yeah, don't you, you don't think that's strange? I'm kind of used to it, I guess. Whoever named you made a strange choice, man. It's like a joke name, like they didn't think it through. <laughs> Come on, man. At least it's descriptive. Well, it's also ridiculous. It's not like my name is Bleeding Frog Bouncer. Well, what is your name? Ted. Oh. Anyway, it can't let you in unless you're on the list. Oh, did I say Clam Man? It's not what I meant to say. Oh, really? Tell me what your... What is your name, then? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, let's use the... Let's try the, uh... Let's try the speech check. Come on, man. Let me in. No. Will this change your mind? Hello? Is that a tiny rock cloth container? It sure is. All right, come on in. You bribed Ted with tiny rock cloth container. Chat! It worked, baby! We in, baby! We in! Now what can I do with this definition of atrophy? Lazarus, live at the Blue Oyster Club. I think I've heard this guy's music. Not a fan, though. His stuff is cool, confident, and unique. I cannot relate. Oh. Oh. 
don't know. Damn, man. Why does this game get happy? When do we, uh... Oh, people people think it's fun to do the zoo thing again? Here we go, chat. Here we go, dude. Well, every once in a while, you can DM me when you want to be unbanned. Any more? Any more people want to fuck around with zoo? Any more? You have to get on Discord and ask me to be unbanned, fucko. I'm not fucking around! But Viola is still in. That one's still in. That bit's got some mileage. That one's got some mileage. My DMs are always open. You can always send me a message on Discord and say, Hi, I got banned today. And I'll say, Wow, banning people for saying that probably was worth, probably took more time than just ignoring it for five minutes, therefore guaranteeing that it was never mentioned again, huh? And then I'll have a whole night of bullshit on my hands. That'll be fun. That'll be a fun little adventure for me later. But that's in the, that's, that's in the future. Nice. Coats. Hey, man. I'd give you my coat, but I don't have one. Thanks anyway. Busy night? All right, exclusive night. You doing all right there, buddy? Yeah. So what's up? No way. And then? What a spectacular anecdote. You, sir, are a funny man. I'll just head right on in then. I thought I was gonna die. Here we are, baby, the club. Boss. How long is this gonna take? Yeah! Are we spending the entire evening here? Stop your complaining! Can a guy help it if he likes music? No love for the music. Love for music comes from heart. That's beautiful, Petrov. Ah, uh, fine, let's go. They snap everywhere they go. Whoa! This fucking thing! Those were the guys from before. Is this a coincidence? It, it can't be. You tell me I can't actually talk to you? No fun. Oh, I'm still walking. Gee, look at all these schmucks. Jumping around, making all that racket. They're just enjoying the music, Vinny. I think what Vinny means to say, Seamus, is that this is music to close eyes and sit down. Dreamscape and vision, you see? Not dance and jump. Well said, Petrov. Anyway, I can't stand these people. Come on, let's get to work. Man, look at the bazongas on that one, though, Jack. Come on, let's be real here. Damn. Are those... Is that a fucking... Is that a... Is, is that a straight line? <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying? Is that a, is that a fucking five line shape right there? Oh, baby. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, what are they doing here? Get to work. How did that guy at the waterfront know? Are we still, we're just walking, we're just following him. We're gonna get like killed. Why are we doing this? They must have gone inside. So we have to go through all this. Seems like lots of work. Why? Why this, Vinny? Boss says to clean up, but you're the boss. The big boss. Our boss. The crab? No, not him. The other guy. You say clean up. I don't see Duster. Organize. Go through the inventory. You know. Make sure everything is in order. But it's just my listen. Sooner we get this done, the sooner we're out of here. Capiche? All right, let's get the work that job. Da. The inventory. So the mobsters run this place. I gotta find out what they're doing in here. That's not going to happen as long as they're in there, though. I need to make them leave, but how? What's this beer? How organized. Snacky Bay homemade organic lighter fluid. 
I guess it's all about branding. I should take it, could come in handy. We're gonna have to make an accident, chat. Wait, what was I doing? Was I listening to the music? Or looking at the woman in the red dress? Oh, a job vacancy, sweet, wait. There's something written on small print on the page too. Gotcha. No job here, idiot. This fake job opening was posted by the We Have Jobs But You Don't gang. That's fucked up. That's really bad. I don't need to go right now. Wait, how do I know? Shine you. How do I know which one's men and women? Whatever. Hey, I'm Clam Man. Good day to you. Oh, wait. Good for you. Oh, they were being mean to me. Hey, I'm Clam Man. Good for you. Hey, I'm Clam Man. Good for you. Hey, I'm Clam Man. Good for you. She didn't know about the landmine. You're blowing my mind so hard right now. She was running around the yard. She did what? Wow, they didn't know about the landmine. Who the fuck is this guy? Huh, I think I know that guy. He's a singer. I want to I wanna see him. Hi there. Hey, what can I get you? What have you got? A short temper and low tolerance for indecisiveness. What do you want? Uh... What about, about that back room? What about it? Why do you ask? Oh, uh, I don't know. Curiosity? You know those guys? Uh, well, we've spoken once or twice, or once. Uh-huh. So you with them? You in their organization? What? No, not at all. Oh, good. You're investigating them. I mean... That's a powerful word. So what, they blackmailing you too? Well, no, not blackmailing. Yeah, me neither. Oh, wait, you're being, you're being blackmailed? I just told you I, I ain't being blackmailed. I guess I'm not convinced. Well, you better convince yourself quickly, Buster, or I'll, or I'll convince you myself. I get the feeling you're not tr using convince in the trying to explain something to change their mind sense. No more in the I'll smash your face in sense. Yeah, right, what's a fucking octopus gonna do? Glad we understand each other. Likewise, stupid. Like, as far as, like, punching someone's concerned, good fucking luck. You don't have bones, idiot. I'm a- I'm all bone. I'm a clam. They hear often? They come and go. When I became owner, they came in on the first night. Made it very clear the back room is for them in their eyes only, effectively occupying it. I don't know what or how or when they move anything in there. I try not to ask questions. How come you let them in? Let's just say they... Actually, let's not say anything. I stay out of it, I stay out of trouble. If that means letting them have the back room, then fine. Is there a key into the back room? Of course there's a key, idiot. And they have it. Oh. Ever tried finding out what's in there? Look, I stay out, I stay in business. Besides, they keep the door locked. Is it always locked? Yeah, they're pretty careful with that. Although one time, the fire alarm went off and everyone had to evacuate. They came running and left the door open. Did you have a look inside? I didn't, but my former partner did. So what did he see? I don't know. The three of them came back before he even got back out of the room. Your partner never told you? Nah, after that he was too busy with his new hobbies. Laying down and drinking soup through a straw. Oh. So how can I get in there? You don't, not as long as they're in there. So I get them out first. Any ideas how I do that? Uh, no, not really. Only way in or out is the door and the air vent maybe, but unless you smell worse than you do now, that won't be much help. Ah, uh, never mind then. So why is this club so exclusive? Exclusive? Oh, right, you were talking to Ted earlier. I don't know. Wait, but you're the owner, aren't you? You gotta at least be happy you're doing well. Look, man. I haven't got time to brag. Between running this place and keeping track of anything and bartending, I don't even have enough time to, to talk to my reflection in the mirror. I gotta be on top of everything, making sure everything is going to plan. Fine, but you had to pick one thing that'd make this place more exclusive, what would it be? <sighs> well, the facilities are nice. Oh yeah, I saw you were renovating the bathroom. Someone's renovating the bathroom? Oh. He's also a vampire. Busy night? 
I think this is busy. You should have seen. You should have been here last Saturday. What happened last Saturday? It was busy. How long you been bartending? A long time. I was the bartender here before I became the owner. So you know your stuff? Sure do. What's your point? Got any signature drinks? I do. Don't think you're man enough for it, though. Oh, what's in it? Two parts gin? <laughs> Two parts herb? Okay. And the nice liquor? One part pickle juice. Okay. A teaspoon of mayo? Okay. Two parts industrial strength rubbing alcohol. All right. Get that gin out of there. Add some more mayonnaise. You got yourself a drink. A hint of actual poison. I see. Okay, now you're losing me again. Garlic. Okay. Parsley. All right. Two parts dry white wine. Some popcorn kernels. All right. A pair of scissors. And if you have one... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I think that guy has it. God, that looks like po- that does look like poison. That's all like red. It's like blood. And if you have one, a small rock. I call it the sledgehammer mustache. The sledgehammer mustache. Just one is enough to smash you to bits. And the mustache? I like the sound of it. No symbolic meaning? It smells bad if you set it on fire? It's flammable? It used to be, back when the recipe contained raw mortar oil. Had to change it due to some ridiculous health and safety thing. Really took the sting out of it. Hey, can you make me a sledgehammer mustache? Big boy, huh? Well, you're out of luck. I just sold the last one. Can't you just make me a new one? Didn't you hear the ingredients? Takes like an hour. Besides, it's not strictly legal to mix those substances indoors. I have a lab. If you want a taste, you have to get it from someone else. I think I'm ready to ask that guy about the fucking drink. Anyway, I'll let you get back to work. Hey. 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 So, I kinda need that drink of yours. Sure. I'll- Wait, what? Sure, take it. Just like that? No errand I need to run or item I need to trade? Nah, just take it. But if you really want to do something for me. Could you listen to my story? Sure. Oh, cool. So, I was born in a small town. I say small, but it was really a kind of medium-sized town, just the right size. I had two older siblings, a brother and a sister, Jack and Jane. Then later, I got two younger siblings, a sister and a brother again. What are the odds? My mom thinks it's so funny. Anyway, I was a quiet child. I spent a lot of time by myself just imagining things and playing with toys. We used to go visit my grandma on the weekends. She'd be so happy to see us. We'd tell her all about what we'd learned in school that week, and she'd patiently listen to all of us. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. My first few years were uneventful. I took my first steps just after turning one, and my first word was what? Anyway, me and my siblings would play and have fun, especially in the summers when we'd go to visit the family in the countryside. My uncle owns a big farm out west, several hours later. Alright. And that was the first year of my childhood. And we got home that day. I disc- Are you alright? You look a little pale. I have to go do a thing. I, I, I got a thing. What thing? Anything. All right, well, hurry back. I'm getting to some really interesting bits. No. No, no. Yes. Let me click on him. No. No. Yes. Fuck. Coward. You coward. I added motor oil to the sledgehammer moustache. How do I use it now? It's the sledgehammer moustache. Looks like something that leads to the back room. I, can, I can't feel any air going out, so it must be going in. Mm, I'm gonna have to... I was knocked on the door by accident. 
Fire! There's a fire! There's a fire? We have to leave, boss! Hold your horses, you dingus! Can you smell any smoke? No. Well, what do you say about fire? Pass. No smoke without fire. That's right. No smoke, no fire. Somebody's just trying to be clever. Keep working. I need to light this aflame. I just need to light it. Of, I need to light it aflame now. Easy piece of cake. Wait, you got another? Hey, hey. So, oh, uh, he's giving me another one. I'm taking another. Yes. Yes. Now I have two drinks. I need. A, I just need something to light, light my drink now. What have you got? Okay. Do you think this guy could light the drink for me? I just need a way to light the... Maybe I can combine these. No. Someone got matches? Anyone got matches? Audience. Anyone got matches? Yeah, football teams! Ha ha! Wait, what? No matches! As in a fire, a lighter! Lighter? You wanna lose weight? Ha 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 ha! No, I'm saying I need to light something on fire. Well, if it's already on fire, why do you want to light it? Ha! Seriously, you guys aren't even being clever. Maybe we're not clever, but at least we're stupid. Hee! This is dumb. You're dumb. Ah, fine. Maybe this will make you lighten up. Ha! He gave, they gave me matches. Okay, cool. All right. I'm gonna make a fire hazard. Let me just get to the back room and then we're gonna burn this place to the fucking ground! Was that chat? It was sort of like chat, wasn't it? I wanna light these. Matches for burning stuff. There we go, leave it there. And light it on fire. There we go, now, uh... <laughs> Petrov, did you? I did not. You smell it too? Oh wait, that was that was a starfish. Of course he does. I do too. It's awful. It smells like someone hit me on the head with manhole cover. Too stinky manhole. It smells like someone burned rubber on a road made of burned rubber. It smells like some kind of horrible poison that kills other poisons. It smells like someone was dead, then came back to life, fought it, and then died again. It smells like burnt popcorn, mayonnaise, parsley, and a small rock were set on fire in a bath of industrial strength alcohol. It smells like all of the above. Horrible! 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 Come on, boys, we can't stay here! Get out! Boy. Am I lucky I don't have a nose? Piece of cake, baby, we're in! All right, let's see what they were hiding. Wow, I've never seen this much mayonnaise in one room before. And I worked at a mayonnaise factory. All right, I better have a good look at everything before I leave. Just look at all this. Why do they have all this here? It's a portrait. I think there's something written on the frame, though. Lady in the Red, 1893. The woman in the portrait famously coined the saying, Frank, get out of bed and back to work, or so help me God. Oh my God. It's an antique. Let's have a look in here. Some kind of correspondence. Mr. Loudmouth, I hope you find today's shipment satisfactory. The amount sent... What was agreed upon... During our earlier meeting, so far no questions have been asked. Looking forward to future meetings. Signed, Mr. Handsome Face. After that, there's a bunch of numbers. There's no logic to them. Another letter. Dear Mr. Loudmouth, I enjoyed our meeting yesterday. We seem to have a lot in common. I listened to the tape you gave me, and I'm particularly fond of track five. Anyway, here's the product. Hope to hear from you soon. Colon, close parenthesis, smile. Signed, Mr. Handsome Face. More seemingly random numbers and a list of Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise products. This letter has a faint smell of something fruity. Perfume. Hey there, Loudy. First off, one of my minions started asking questions. I wouldn't worry just yet, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Here's the mayo, blah, blah, blah. The new McGregor's and Boys movie is showing at the Spritz. How's Friday night, winky face? Can't wait to see you again. Uh, XOXOXO, your handsome face. 
Huh. Huh. It's a handwritten letter. Paper looks expensive. It's even has a sigil. To loudmouth and handsome face. I've been patient with the two of you, as you followed my orders quite satisfactory, but I've read through the shipment details and attached letters. It becomes clear to me that I will have to lecture the both of you regarding this. The two of you will keep things formal. Do not forget, I oversee every minute detail of my plans. And that including your and that includes your correspondence. If I see one or more letter with ridiculous language, parentheses and colons, or anything irrelevant to your task, I will take action. You both know what that means. Hope I've made myself clear. It's not signed at the end, but there's a stamp at the end. It must be written by the mastermind of all this. And honestly, I can't say I don't agree with him. Colon, winky face, smiley face, D colon, colon D, uh, big smile. Those are all economy jumbo sized fun packs. Literally a ton. This is a fortune in mayonnaise. What's in the last cabinet? Yeah, she did find out. I'll take care of it though. The leak will be sealed. LOL. To make up for your worries, I wrote, I wrote you a little something. Roses are red, violets are blue. The sun in the sky reminds me of you. The jellyfish chirp as they play in the mud. Here's the next shipment, you big handsome stud. LOL, colon, close parentheses, close parentheses. I, I think I've read enough. Didn't sound like the girl at the bar gets much use out of this room anymore. So either those three gangsters use this as an office or someone else does. I think I've seen enough to start drawing conclusions. Someone's been smuggling mayo out of the company and in the hands of these gangsters. And it certainly sounds like it's Bosman, the sneaky son of a... Oh, I know Bosman is handsome face. And the gangster he's in contact with is loudmouth. But I still don't exactly know who that is. Besides, this isn't enough. I need definite proof. I need names, dates, numbers. That's how I get these guys down. And I, I know I know where to get it. The Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Company Records Office. Let's do this, chat. Getting in the Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Company Records Office was no simple ordeal. Knowing he couldn't simply walk in and have a look, the clam man had to think of another way to go through the records. So he hatched a cunning plan. He would break into the Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Records Office under the cover of night. Of course, was no. This, of course, was no small feat, and the clam man knew this. He so he made a list of items he needed for the great break-in. A hook to hook onto the side of the building. A rope to then climb the side of the building with. A map to know which side of the building he was supposed to break into. There were four possibilities. Three too many. Satisfied with his plan, the clam man took to the streets to acquire the items needed. Caps lock. All right. I better hurry so I can do this tonight before the sun comes up. A rope, a hook, and floor plans. Easy. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Looks like someone went missing. Missing. Sandy. Long, beautiful, blonde hair, joyful demeanor, and a green snorkel. I miss you, Sandy. I'm trying, but it's so hard without you. I should have recognized it sooner. We may have just been playing, but you were the real catch all along. I'll do whatever it takes to find you again, I swear. Looks like the latest news. New study shows that only one of one in ten people can spell grammar. <gasps> Alright, everyone. Everyone in chat, come out and prove it. I'll do it too. Everyone in chat, come on. If you spell gamer, I, 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 I'm impressed. If you spell it with gamer, that's a true gamer right there. Come on, chat. All of us failed. Even I failed. You can't spell grammar without gamer. You know? You got most of the letters right. 
Editorial. People need to stop breaking into my car. Public discontent with mayor at press conference. Mayor King accused of taking his position too lightly as he plays table tennis at council meeting. Too bad it's just a bag boy needed. All I can offer is bad boy. You can't see it, but I'm flexing my muscles right now. Looks like a notice of closure. No, wait. Notice of closer. If you had to get this close to read this, you probably need glasses. Closer. Come on now to come on down to Gatsby's Glass Grocery for a new pair of spectacles today. True, 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 true. It's late. You know the code? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. All right, in that case, I hear the gooseberries are coming in nice this year, and so are the mangoes. Burma! Barazingas, Burma! Wait, wait, what else we got? Yes, now uh, let me in. Reverse psychology, no. Forward psychology, yes. Mango, schmango, bingo, bango. It's that one. You clearly have no idea what the code is. Get lost. Let me try again. Uh, yes. Yes, they are. You are right on the point, my good man. Okay, that's not a... It's called brute forcing, motherfucker. Ever heard of it? Burma. Why'd you say Burma? I panicked. Okay, it's none of them. I'm, I gotta go. It wasn't Burma. Look at that. Complete garbage. This guy will never not be creepy. Ugh. Uh, it's a short message. Stops kind of abruptly. The powers that be will very soon see their injustice be struck by the might of the... What happened to you? I was caught by the snacky bay vigilante while I was trying to break into this building. This one? I live here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing worth stealing inside. You got our TV? Yeah. No. So why'd you want to do crime? Did you always want to do crime? No. I always wanted to be a chiropractor. So how'd you end up like this? Well, the most satisfying part of practicing chiropractic is the sound. The crack. And once you've, once you're a crack addict, crime becomes pretty unavoidable. Career-wise? The duck of truth, huh? Careful! I wouldn't speak his name out loud if I were you. He sees all! Hears all! Why are you being so honest? I don't know. I can't actually control it. Any embarrassing stories I can make you tell? Yeah, loads of them. Go on. With what? The embarrassing stories. Just because I've been made to be honest doesn't mean I'm gonna run my mouth about everything. It takes a question to get an answer, not to mention an honest answer. So did you ever pee your pants in public? Yes! I did! Ever call your teacher mom? Fourteen times all in all! Did you, uh, do you ever put relish on toast? Daily. Alright, that's too much. Ugh, relish on toast. Are you a skilled criminal? Not at all. I'm a complete and utter failure in every way. Wow, that's a bit harsh. But honest. How connected are you to the criminal underworld? I'm a clearance level three, not the highest, but not C tier either. So you know a fair bit about what's going on in the city. A lot. So you're connected. So if you're connected, know any secret codes and handshakes? Only one. But it's only, it's the only one I need for rope. What is it? It's a long strand made of a sturdy material used to fasten or pull things with the code. All right, here it is. When asked about mangoes, disagree. After that, mention a whole wheel of Parmesan. All right, chat, that's it. Take time, time to do a take. Everyone buckle in, this one's gonna get rowdy. It's time. I'm always... I'm always offered two cheeses when it comes to, like, pastas, okay? Parm and Romano. Alright. And I'm just gonna come out and say it once and for all. Set the record straight. 
Harm fucking sucks in comparison to Romano. Romano wins, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry we had to do it. It's not as good as Romano and it never will be. As far as pasta topping goes, Parm is weak. It's just a, it's just weak. They are both good. Yeah, but one is objectively better. Parm is what you take if no one has given you the option for Romano, correct? All right. Yes? Plebeian fuck. You're telling me Romano is more entry level plebeian than Parm? Parm is like, they give you, if you go into the cheese zone, all right, they give you Parm at the fucking door. All right, that's like the Parm they hand you at the door. Romano, you can see like a little bit past the door. That's like fucking aisle two or three. They're giving out fucking Parm cheese chat at the goddamn cash register, like when you're buying like fucking candy bars, okay, at last minute. Like, you want a fucking garbage ass Parm? And you're like, yeah, I guess I could go for some Parm. It's like getting like fucking, like, like cheddar. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could have some cheddar while I'm here. Yeah, I get. I don't like cheese talk. I don't like you. If you don't, if you don't have the guts to talk cheese talk with the men and women of the chat, get the fuck out, huh? I had a really nice fucking truffle infused cheddar, like an oh, an aged truffle infused cheddar the other day, with uh those nice olives that my family got me, bro. Bro. Truffle is so good. Oh, bro. 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 They put truffle in the chair. They infused it. And so, like, it was a mix. It was made that way. Provolone is how you really live. I only take provolone on cheeses. I mean, <laughs> I only eat provolone layered on top of other cheeses. No, no, no. Provolone is a sandwich cheese, okay? You eat, that is a, there are cheeses that belong in sandwiches and outside of sandwiches, they are, it's illegal, okay? Can we all agree? Provolone, uh, and Swiss, specifically, okay? If I see someone just going to town on Swiss without a sandwich involved in the equation, I'm gonna take that out of your hand, I'm gonna throw it in the garbage, you've, you've ruined it. Swiss is, Swiss is made to be enjoyed in a fucking sandwich. That is a sandwich cheese, because it tastes, Swiss is, a, Swiss is too bland otherwise. It needs something else with it. Okay. Now, thankfully we can all, if we, uh, I like these takes, because we always get a lot of people like, no, God, no, fuck you, idiot, you suck. But we can all agree on one thing, right, chat? American cheese is poison. My family made burgers the other night, and I came up late, and I was like, so where's the cheese? And they were like, oh, there's just, oh, we're out of cheddar? Like, they're still American. I laughed at them. I laughed at them. I fucking laughed my ass off in their face. They said, you gotta put American on this burger. And I started laughing. Oh my god. It's wrong! American cheese is fucking poison. It makes me so mad that, like, my family buys it. Alright? It's terrible. I... Alright, sliced cheddar is okay. Alright? Cheddar? Cheddar's a... Cheddar's an everyman's cheese. You dislike, you dislike cheddar? I dislike you. You know, that's like, that's easy. Easy. Okay? I'd say blue cheese is the real poison. All in favor of uh, timing this guy out for 10 minutes, the rest of the conversation, say aye. Say aye. Aye, aye, seen a lot of eyes in chat. Blue cheese is incredible, all right? Seconded only by Gorgonzola. Okay. Gorgonzola and blue cheese are some of the best ones out there. It's mold? Yeah, fucking wake up, it's all mold! If you're fucking gonna look at me and be like, I don't wanna eat this cheese, it's mold. Yeah, yeah, that's like all of them! You fucking ass! 
That's what cheese is. If you can't take the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to eat this bread. It's got yeast in it, and yeast is like a fungus. I don't know if I'm gonna put this. I'm not. I'm not gonna eat this. This got. This got something in it. Like, I, what the fuck are you talking about? What? What? Yeah. Yeah, that's like. I don't know, dude. Not all cheese are mold. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. What about feta? Also awesome. Dude, all the. Oh, all right, all right. If the cheese crumble. You know? I'm gonna like it. I was trying to think of a pun. I thought about tumble, and I was like, what can I say? Like, if cheese crumble, I'm gonna tumble on into that, but I, I couldn't think of anything that made any sense, so I sort of hesitated. Like, tumble, rumble, I don't fucking know. I can't rhyme. I don't sing. I, I don't write poems. I yell. What about fried halloumi? Man, this guy's been tied up for a while now, huh? Whatever, the cheese conversation is way more fucking important than this game right now. Cheese tier list? Oh, chat, I could fucking... One day, I'll do a tier list, okay, for cheeses. Alright? And I'll see you, I will fucking, that will be, that will be the gospel of cheese, okay? I know cheese. Brie is also godly. Brie is amazing. The problem with Brie, all right, chat, here's the deal. Okay, I'm gonna come out and say it. I know people that eat Brie with the crust on, you know, the white crust, the film, the thing, okay? I fucking hate that so much, I can't imagine putting that part in my mouth, the rind. I do that? Look, I ain't shaming you if you do, okay? But I I have seen it as like a 50-50 flip. People are like, fuck you, I eat it with the rind, you asshole, stop cutting it off. I'm like, what? I don't want to eat that. Like, I eat my crust on my sandwiches and bread, but that's the kind of crust that I ain't putting in my mouth. I tried it once and it didn't hit me. It's wax, though? No, 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 not- No, 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 you were thinking of a different thing. There's a, there is a, there is a border of brie cheese that is like a white, sort of like soft layer, you know, that's exposed to the air. Okay, some people are down with that, I'm not. The wax? Alright chat, anyone that says the wax is outing themselves as not a cheese man, and you can go to the door. There's American cheese free on pickup on your way out. The rest of us are talking about the actual part of the cheese that you eat and can eat and not fucking wax. <laughs> All right? <laughs> the rest of us are talking about the food and not like the shaping thing that comes in some cheeses. Okay, to make it keep its shape. Gouda is Gouda. I like Gouda a lot. My problem is that Gouda gives me like PTSD flashbacks because of the smokiness of it. Maybe it's just the Goudas that I've had. I always, whenever I have Gouda, it reminds me of ham. And ham is one of the foods that makes me fucking gag so bad. And I like Gouda, but like, I go... And I go, oh no. <laughs> like, I like Gouda, but it's gotta be mixed in stuff. It's gotta be in something or else like, I will be like, oh fuck. Oh, there's ham. I, I taste ham again. I taste ham. And then I, and then I just fucking can't. So I love Gouda, but it has to be mixed. Cheese Whiz, get the fuck out of here. Havarti? Mm. <clears throat> Guys, I'm bummed. I know friends that live really no like close to artisanal cheese places. I know that sounds fucking like, you know, fancy and like douchey. But bro, if I could walk down the street to a fucking artisanal cheese place, they would know me by goddamn name. <laughs> All right? They would, if I could walk outside, walk down the street, like walk distance, and get to a good fucking cheese place, they'd know me by goddamn name. In like a week, I'd be like fucking, we'd be best friends in there. Oh! Oh! Fresh cheese is fucking amazing. It really is. I'm waiting for like a fr like a place like that to deliver through Instacart, dude. It'll never happen, but like I check Instacart every day for like the chance that like a bakery, like a good fucking bakery gets on Instacart or something, you know? Like a good fucking bakery or good 
cheese place. Always. I check it all the time just in case. Because fuck, dude. Fresh bread, fresh cheese. Oh, you can't beat it, man. Hey, you guys want to finish this game? Because I was expecting this to be like a three-hour stream, and I'm already three hours in. I've been talking about cheese for about ten minutes now. No, 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 no. No, I want to talk about cheese. <laughs> You see, chat, here's the thing, okay? There are two people in the chat. There are people that want validation for their cheese enjoyment, and there are people that want to know how fucked I am, okay? Those are the two people. You're either asking me cheese opinions because you want me to validate your cheese for you, or you're asking me a cheese opinion because you're laying a trap so that you can tell me I fucking suck, okay? There's only two. Either you want to hear that your cheese opinion's good, or that, why not both? True, 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 it is both. Tomato and cheese gaming. Tomato fucking sucks. But tomato slices with some... With some basil? Slice of mozzarella? Some... Some fucking balsamic drizzled on top? Oh. 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 Please! Please! I gotta... I gotta order something. I actually gotta order something right now, I'm not gonna get it today. I gotta like, I, hang on, check. I gotta order something now? Because I'm, I'm gonna order from like the nice Italian place today, now I have to. Now I, now I have to order from the nice place. Okay. I gotta order from the nice, the nice Italian place nearby. Oh yeah. Don't worry, it'll only take a second. Tea bell time again? Closed! Bullshit, you're closed! Why are you closed on a fucking Monday? No, you're not closed. DoorDash never updates its shit. This place is open. Don't lie to me. I'm banging on the door. What? Why are you closed? Why are you closed? <laughs> is there a holiday today? Is there a holiday today? I'm, gonna, I'm going to Google. You open the day? Closed. Opens at 4 p.m. Tuesday. Unbelievable! I'm sending a letter. I'm angry. National, it's National Gamer Day? Oh. If it's National Gamer Day, then no biggie. I got other options, I guess. If it's not, only if it's National Gamer Day though. Karen, please. Chat, it's not about that. It's about getting your hopes up for, like, a really good meal. And then... Getting shot down... Instantly. Fuck. Whatever, I'll order something later. No, I don't even care. What? Parmesan? Oh, fuck. I'm, you guys remember Parmesan talk? That was eons ago. You're not being too specific there. What was this guy's voice? Fuck, I, what was this guy's voice? I don't remember this guy's voice! Oh no. Old man? I don't fucking know what that means. Dutch. I can't do Dutch today, I'll die. It's casual code. We used to play fast and loose with our lingo. Parmesan, cheddar, brie, whatever. The point is, cheese is the key. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. See ya. The turkey's coming! What happened here? Beats me, kid. I just found him here a minute ago. He's coming! He's coming for all of us! Oh, forgive me! Forgive me! He's been going on like this the whole time. I asked him what he was doing here and he, well, listen, you, what were you doing here before I found you? I was going to break into this building and steal everything. That's honest. It is, and strange. Aren't you going to arrest him and take him back to the station? I've already arrested him, that was easy. The other part, it's the other part I'm having trouble with. I can't get him out of those, those ropes, there's no way. Any idea who did this? It was him! It was the silent striker! Here's your answer, I guess. Anytime I ask him about who caught him, it's almost like he goes into shock. Spooky. Can I have a look at that knot? Knock yourself out, kid. Huh. Gordian, isn't it? 
So yeah, that's the problem. I can't take him to the, I can't take him back to the station like this. Why not? Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. We can't fit a lamppost in the cell. Hang tight. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can figure something out. He sees all! He sees all! Ghostless shell. Ah! I get it. You guys get that? You guys get that? <laughs> that's an that's one for the ayayas in jet. That's one for the that's that's one for the ayayas. The rest of you won't get it. Sorry. I could have sworn I saw something in this earlier. It's lost its appeal now. Now it's just something of its former self. Like a shell of its former self, almost. Well, let's get into the private room. You know the code? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, it's... Mine aren't. Yes, go on. Camembert. Aren't you going to say yours aren't, but the big cheese gets his at low tide tonight? Yeah. Very good, come on in. Secret Knot Store. Hey there, I'm Clam Man. Hi, I sell ropes and knots. This guy's gonna talk like me because my throat's getting tired. Yes, that's my full time job. We can't all be winners. I was interested in some rope. That's sad. They both, it's like they're the same person. As in, I want to buy some because I need it. Oh, that makes more sense. Either way, I can't help you. Don't you sell ropes and knots? What about all these ropes then? Why can't I just buy one? Oh, those are all reserved. Your entire stock is reserved? The lot. Who reserves that much rope? Someone who's insane. Who or needs a lot of rope. You sell knots? How does that work? Think of it as a service. A very strange service. I can't imagine who'd want to buy a knot. Well, some people use them for research. They want to know how to tie them or even get out of them. I'm sorry. This is the dumbest business idea I've ever heard of. What are you, some kind of business expert? What do you do for a living? I... Actually, do you have any vacancies? You think we need another clerk here? Come on, man. This is a rope and knot shop. It's a horrible business idea. What's all the secrecy about, then? Oh, the code? I don't know. Something about branding? If we make ourselves seen exclusive, more people will want to come in and buy stuff. Does it work? Many sales thanks to that? Barely. And by that, I mean no. No, it doesn't work. The only people who know the code at this point are criminals. Criminals love code and stuff. Surely criminals have a lot of use for rope, though. Sure, but they also have tendency not to pay for things because they're criminals. Uh, can you help me with a knot? Depends. What kind of knot are we talking here? I don't know. It's a big, strange one. Did you bring it with you? No, it's tied to a lamppost. I see. It's just that I'm legally obligated to stay inside the shop at all times, so I can't really help you unless you bring it in. Crap. Yep, my hands are tied, I'm afraid. Tell you what, though. You could buy our catalog and try to discern what the knot is for yourself. It's got solutions for most uh, for most knots encountered uh, in everyday situations. Thanks. That'd be helpful. My guy's got infinite money. Okay, we just lost an unreasonable amount of cash. Never mind. We lost most of it there. And that sounded thankful, I guess. Uh, well, gotta go. Thanks for the help. My name is... what? I didn't realize that was actually his name. My name is what? Alright, let's go. Look at all these knots! I didn't know any of these! What's a flying Dutchman? Uh, uh, I guess we all believe... We all need something to believe in. Rope is no joke, neither is theft. You're on camera. Okay. Let's go outside. The monkey knot! <laughs> That's the poop loop. God, the good old days, man. The good old days. The good old days. Alright. Let's look this guy up. What the fuck? Alright, we got the fancy... 
This one should be the- wait, no, what am I talking about? This one's too fancy. It looks like a pizza. The poop. No. The eye. I don't think it's that one. Grandma's guilt. Sorry, quilt. <laughs> What's Granny up to? What's Granny hiding? What's Granny- What's Granny hiding? The circle. The arrow. Ah, uh, no. No luck? Guess not. I thought for sure this was the solution to the puzzle. I just got a, uh... I just got an achievement called... Hang on, what was that? Yeah, it says sucker. It's called promise nothing, deliver less. Go get your money back, you jobber. That book only has six different knots in it, huh? Yeah, the rest is just footnotes. I'd get my money back if I were you. That thing is just a scam. That's illegal, right? Think you'd help me get my money back? Yeah, sure. I don't want to, though. Why? Can't you see I'm all tied up? Oh, you're like the fourth person to make that joke today, including me. Eh, still funny. Hey! I want a word with you, what? Hey there. Your catalog didn't help at all. No. Huh, shame. I'd like my money back. Dude, I'm sorry, we don't do refunds. But the catalog was useless, and I paid an unreasonable amount of cash for it. All right, calm down, here, I'll let you trade something for it. A rope? I just, I really need a rope. No can do, I've got no spare ropes to trade. Hmm, uh, what about this? This is our patented signature universal knot opening tool. It looks like a knife. No, that's not a knife, this is a knife. Uh, he's packing. Chat? He's packing. Alright, just give me the tool. Opens most knots in a jiffy. Uh-huh. Where am I gonna get the claw? Because I still need a claw after all this. This should do the trick. Is that a knife? No, it's a universal knot opener tool. Yeah, they wouldn't scam you twice. I need that rope. I'm free! I'm finally free! Joink. Oh. Yeah, go to jail, fucko! Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. That's one thing off the list. Burglary, I'm one step closer. Uh, I mean, oh boy, a skip rope. All right, got ourselves a rope. Where the hell am I gonna find a claw? Look at all that complete garbage. I don't know where I'm gonna find a claw. Oh. We start here. Hey, Bill. Hey, dude. How's unemployment treating you? Not super well. I'm solving mysteries, so I got that going for me. Did you say mysteries? Yeah, mainly conspiracies and stuff. Or a conspiracy. Oh boy, oh boy! Please let me help, please let me help, please let me help! Like, dude! I love mysteries so damn much, and the only thing I love more is conspiracies! Oh boy! Conspiracy nut, huh? I resent that, but yes. And the preferred term is intrigue enthusiast, if you please. Or drama queen. Well, here's what I know. Clam man then proceeded to tell Billy the entire story so far. And now I'm trying to sneak in to find out more. Some stuff I still need before I can do that, though. So thoughts? <sighs> hmm? Oh, nothing, just a little disappointed. What? I was hoping for something juicier. I mean, the ingredients are there. Evil corporations smuggling the mob, but it lacks a certain Jane Have you thought about the humans? The what now? The humans! They control the world through a secret network of spies and contacts. They have internet satellites and mind control rays and toasters with tiny button things that lie to you when you to spread discontent. Who told you this? This lizard guy I know. 
Sounds insane. Probably lives in a cave somewhere. No, he's an executive lizard guy. Really? Well, fantastico, Billy. That's nuts. I know, right? Crazy, and nobody seems to notice. But I do, dude. I noticed. They won't slip one past me, not old Billy. What are your thoughts on any of this? I don't know. I'm not feeling super motivated about this conspiracy. Not saucy enough. But this is a real plausible conspiracy. It's real and it can affect people. In fact, it's already affected people. Lindsay, me, maybe others. Yeah, that's why it's kind of dull. It really only... I really only get up in arms when there's ghosts, aliens, or humans involved. Sensationalism sells, my dude. Uh, what should I do? Eh, get this stuff on your list. Gee, you don't say. What'd you need again? I need floor plans. What's your plan there? Well, I... You know, for someone who's really adamant about his interest in the duck of truth early today, you're being really quiet about him now. I don't like to talk about work when I'm off duty. Shouting on the street corner doesn't seem like- doesn't scream worker duty to me. Go ahead and make jokes. I've got a job and you don't, man. Come on, man. Man, Clement is a fucking loser, isn't he? He's a real fucking loser, isn't he? I, I feel bad for- I feel- He is so pathetic, chat, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the most pathetic game I've ever played in my entire life. Like, I've seen fucking losers in video games, like Disco Elysium, you play a fucking loser in that game. But this guy, this guy here, is a fucking loser. You know? Even worse than that clown game? I'm sorry. Chat, don't move too quickly or you'll scare that guy. Grab your pitchforks. He just came at Dropsy. Did you just fucking come at Dropsy? Did you just fucking come at Dropsy? You did not just come at Dropsy. You just called Dropsy a loser, you dick. You are so fucked. You have, uh, you have no idea. You don't fuck with Dropsy. Clam Man, on the other hand, Clam Man's a little bitch. Clam Man's got nothing. He is nothing. He's less than nothing. He's the, he's the dirt, chat. No, he's below the dirt. He's below the dirt. This guy's double nothing. Sorry, I've been distracting all of you because I have to order an emergency uh, alternative pizza plan because my, my original plan was gone. Fuck, dude. Shit. I can order from the other nice pizza place. Yeah. Fuck. I just need something. I just need something to eat tonight. It's very important. Otherwise, I die. Yo, my bill. Sixteen dollars, sixty-nine cents. Chat. What am I getting you? Specialty pizza from a from a, from a mom and pop restaurant nearby. Lawman, chicken. Pesto on a pizza. On a pizza. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Thanks, babe. I got you, man. I got you. I got you. Lastly, I need a hook. What? What was that? Oh, hello. I hate to interrupt this line of dialogue, but I have something of an announcement. <clears throat> Welcome to the... Oh, hang on. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do paper bit. I don't have one on me. I'll end up ruining something. Welcome to the middle of the game. The middle of the game. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the middle of the game. The moment where you take a break and invite where we take a break and invite you, the player, to join us, the game developers, in Find the Fish. We're going to show you a scene from another game and ask you to guess where the fish is. But if you think you know, don't keep it to yourself. Post it all over the internet so everyone can see. So here we are. Find the fish. Sir, found it. Easy. That wasn't, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! There he is! 
Oh, look, you found him. Well done. Jolly good show. Right. Right then. Back to our regu regularly scheduled program. So anyway, that's how I ended up with this spare hook. That's a fantastic story. You should write that down. You think? For sure. You can make a movie out of that. Or a game. Yeah, games need more good stories. You're telling me. <laughs> anyway, can I have that hook? Yeah, sure thing, my dude. Thanks. Bye. That was easy. <sighs> Can't move any of these. It's garbage. I take a look at it, and I think it's garbage. I have no idea how it got there. I have no idea what's in those sacks. I have no idea where it came from or why it's there. But I look at it for a second, and I decide it's garbage. Just the worst. Lindsay? Guy enjoying a slice. He looks like he's confessing his love for that slice of pizza. Bro, that's gonna be me in like fucking a half an hour, man. I'm gonna be just like that guy. Oh, baby. A little cheesy, but good for him. Or both of them. Jet. All right, what's the better part of a pizza? Sauce or cheese? Answer incorrectly and you're gonna regret it. This should be so easy. This should be so obvious from past conversations. Okay. Cheese. Cheese. Good. I have... I have had pizzas, Chet, with no sauce, and they've been better than pizzas with sauce. Okay? I have had pizzas where it's... Where it's just, like, other forms. This sounds psycho, okay? Like, olive oil. Like, other things moisturize the pizza. Okay? Sauce is such an irrelevant part of pizzas nowadays. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I'm talking red sauces, okay? Specifically. I don't know, I'm not a big red sauce guy, I think, in general. Most of the time. It's gotta be prepped, it's gotta- A red sauce has gotta have some spice, you know what I'm saying? It's gotta crack back, you know? That's what red- Red sauce gotta crack back at you. It's gotta have some spice in there, it's nothing. It's just boring otherwise. Like, red sauce is something you dip, like, Italian bread into to, like, soak up. You don't, like, eat it on things, you know? Just eat grilled cheese, then. Alright, uh, you clearly don't understand because you haven't had a- you, you have to have a pizza that didn't have any sauce on it because it was deliberately prepared without sauce in mind? To understand. Okay. Before you say something like that again. I can't believe she built it in just a day. Sad and impressive. I'm gonna sort this all out, Lindsay. Don't you worry. Lindsay? These boxes are trying to stand in the way of my justice. Be gone, boxes! Lindsay, are you alive? Lindsay? There's something scribbled on here. Looks like a poem. Relish the moment when life takes a turn. Mayo, mayo, mayo. Embrace the chances to new ideas churn. Empty, mayo, mayo. Cherish the new things you'll have time to learn. Empty, empty, mayo. Nothing inside that one. Looks fishy. Look at all this art. Aha! Not exactly sure what I was looking for, but I, whatever it was, I found it. Hey, future me, don't forget your mantra. Embrace, cherish, relish, have a good day, past me. Oh no, it's a, some sort of, some sort of poem thing. So one is how many times they said embrace, two is how many times they said cherish, three is how many times they said relish, I'm guessing. Or it's one, two, three. Wait. Embrace comes first. So relish is, wait, wait, so relish three. Embrace two, cherish one. I, I have to like write, I, this is so easy, but I feel like I have to write it down because my brain like forgets things instantly. Wait, wait, this is in that order. I'm gonna just try three, two, one. There's so many numbers though. Answer chat. Quickly now, I hate puzzles. Give me the answer. I demand it. Give it to me now. 
776. An excellent recommendation that you've staked your life on. I respect that. I really do. Unfortunately, you were wrong. And now you will die. <coughs> you made a terrible mistake mixing that one up. Cooked, finished, or spinached? Fin finished spin <laughs> Wait, cooked fi spinach or finished spinach? Fresh on top for pizza. Uh, I prefer cooked spinach over, uh, I prefer cooked spinach over any other kind. Uh, cooked f spinach is awesome. Five, six, three? You better be right. Damn it, I'm gonna have to actually do a puzzle. <gasps> no, 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 no. Hang on. Embrace, cherish, relish. The answer is 481. You guys are all saying different things, dude. We're never getting out of here. I <laughs> don't stop. Thanks. I just keep mixing up like twos and ones. Two, three, one. Wow! <laughs> wow! I mean, I knew it was gonna be the low numbers. I was just like, I didn't want to do all. I, I, Chad, I just didn't want to do all like what? Fucking nine of the combinations. <laughs> just didn't want to do like, you know, all the fucking seven or like two combinations there were that I could actually do, you know. Wow, this is suspiciously convenient. The floor plans to the entire Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Office Building TM. That's another thing off the list. Now, which way of this is north? We did it. Baby, we're done here. Looks like we got everything. Rope, plans, hook. Time to go to phase two of the plan. Time for the break-in. Act 2B, time for a break-in. Oh... Oh my god, he's so cool. Not very stealthy anymore, is it? Not really a sneaky break-in. There's no way a fucking uh, like office worker would have like the Oh no. What is this? Uh Alright. Guess I'm making my way past this too. It smells like a locker room in the worst possible way. Buzz buzz. Hey, that's one of those new penguin bombs. I've seen them on the telly. Couple glass shards, should probably take one, no idea. Ah, we're not gonna bring this, why would I want one of those? Just gonna walk around these traps, watch my step. It's another bomb, it looks like it's about to explode. Hey! Hey. Ah, oh, crap, I'm not supposed to be talking to you. Dang it, Cletus, you've done it again! Uh, too late for that now, sign. Forgive me. Whoa, is that- wait, no, never mind. That's just a ray gun. Everybody loves rays! Oh, this game just keeps doing it, baby. You look tasty. Acid piranhas below. Good thing they warned me. The stinky neon green pool of toxic waste sure looked really inviting for a second. Whoa, cool it. I don't want no trouble. Hot. Huh? Hold it right there! This area is for authorized personnel only. Please present Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise official employment ID card. Hi, I'm Clam Man. So, so you guys know who I am when the cops come to arrest me. This is dubious! Please present Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise official employment ID badge! I'm literally a man who is a clam. How is that dubious? There may be multiple clam men. Sequels. These traps aren't all that effective. Scare tactics, my friend. They are meant to scare you away. Well, oh, I, I figured they were supposed to hurt the intruders. That's what I am here for. That's an inspecting Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise official employment ID badges. Are you sentient? 
Affirmative. I dream of people showing me their snacky bay prime mayonnaise official employment ID badges. Please, sir, make my dreams come true. What is your primary directive? To crush my enemies, see them driven before me, and to have my intruders show me their snacky bay prime mayonnaise official employment ID card. I don't have it. I don't have it. Intruder detected! Instigating Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Interrogation Protocol. Huh? Interrogation? Affirmative! Here at Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise, we believe in giving people a second chance. Some people are forgetful and may displace their Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise official employment ID badges. Running interrogation protocol to investigate if you actually possess a Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise official employment ID badge. What happens if I fail interrogation? You will be exterminated here at Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise. We don't believe in giving people a third chance. Oh. Interrogation begin. First question. What is the name of the plant outside Lord Bosman's office? Oh, no. Wobbler. Lock roller. Bladder wreck. Oceanic coddle weed. Fleeting spinner. Bladder wreck. Correct! Please collect your reward and proceed to the next question. Bronze Dagger of Strength 1! How much does a cubic meter of- I- I missed it. What is that? What was that? Oh no. More than you'd think, but less than you'd hope. Whatever the question was, it's more than you'd think, less than you'd hope. Incorrect! Accept your punishment and proceed to the next question. Self-esteem all removed from your inventory. I don't feel so good about that one. I, don't, I shouldn't even try, honestly. Third question. What is the adage of the Bosman clan? Believe it! I'm walking it! Just because you're correct doesn't mean you're right. Fear the old blood. A company is like a fruit pie, a figure of seat. You're also fired, though. We are the Bosman. Is we are the Bosman. Correct! Please collect your reward and proceed to the next question. 25 clam coins. Trade them in for loot boxes. Nice. Fourth question. What is a PP? I'm not sure we can use this if we want an E rating. Peculiar present. Sorry, partner. Princess present. Persistent passion. Pottery party. Patient. Patient. Party package. Permanent pest. Pissed off protagonist. It's pottery party. Correct! Please collect your reward. Bronze dagger of strength. We got two. We got two of those now. We got, we're double strength. We can dual wield. Also, for the record, security AI cannot attend upcoming party. Pottery party. I am busy with security things. Final question. Why are you here? Why are you here? Simple. To distinguish employees from intruders. Why are any of us here? Simple to prove our identities with our Snacky Bay Prime Man is official employment ID badges. Guess I don't have a purpose. My scanners indicate that you are being too hard on yourself. I'm here on a quest for truth. Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess. Yeah. So you're gonna let me pass? Calculating. I have categorized you as a non attentive employee. That is excellent. Please enter and keep not paying attention to your general surroundings. Oh my god, it's him. Oh my god, it's him. Do you guys remember Zoids? <laughs> Sorry to... Sorry, I, I was just thinking about... I was thinking about Zoids today. I was screaming in my head the whole time I was talking to that robot. I was thinking about Zoids. God, Zoids were cool back in the day, dude. Zoids? Yeah, Zoids. You know? But why randomly? I don't fucking know. God, you guys. I remember Zoids like it was yesterday. They still make Zoids? Shit, man. I was just seeing who was, uh, you know, who was cool and who wasn't. You know, I just like to test that every once in a while, test the waters, see how cool Chad is today. The clam man had finally made it. After making his way through deadly traps and nefarious machines, he walked confidently into the Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise Records office. He posed for a bit, taking in just how cool he felt in that moment. 
Had anyone seen it, they would have thought he looked pretty silly. After some more posing, he got back to work. Work at the job he didn't have anymore. He went through every file and cabinet he could find. He was determined to find anything connected. His former boss to the horrible crime he suspected him of. Names, dates, numbers, everything we mentioned a couple of scenes ago. It took seconds, minutes even, but he finally found what he was looking for. Names, dates, numbers, shipments, delivery locations, other important capitalized plot points. But while the evidence definitely incriminated his former boss, he still had no name for the man known from a previous scene as Loudmouth, the assumed mob boss. But there was no time Clam Man realized he couldn't stick around any longer. Clam Man grabbed the evidence he had found so far and made a run for it. On the way out of Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise's office building, the Clam Man couldn't help but chuckle to himself. I got you now, you son of a gun, and I'll get your accomplice too. It was time for the Clam Man to crack down on crime. Okay. Wow, that took all night, but I finally got it. Got nice little red strings all over the apartment. All right, I guess now I should start figuring out who Loudmouth really is. These guys aren't dumb. They've been smuggling the mail out of the least suspicious kind of place there is. Restaurants, four of them. Funny enough, they're all on the same street next to each other. Now there's four main guys they've been smuggling to. Three of them I've already met. The names of Vinny, Patrov, and Seamus. Gotta find out who the last guy is. So all four of them go to different restaurants at different times of day to collect different mayonnaise shipments. And that's not much to go on. I looked up the restaurants to get an idea of what they serve. And then I compared what I know about the four different criminals. It might be helpful. Anyway, I made a list of what I figured out so far. Yeah, right. It's not much, but I might be able to piece together just who goes where and when from this. This might be a tough one. How hard do I want to make this? Dude, I'm just in it for the ride, man, my dude. Just give me something chill. So I think I know which place serves spicy food. It's the second one from the right. Uh... No, that can't be it. Something's wrong here. Second one from the right is this one, chat. One, two. This is the right side. What the fuck is the problem here? Where? Oh, yeah. What? Spicy. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be fucking- this is gonna be like eight hours of this chat. Where's the paper? Where's the pa- Where's the paper? Morning. Evening. Lunch. Dip. These are all color-coded. What's the difference between evening and dinner? Uh, spicy, dicey, pricey, icy. Petra, I fucking am going to just put these all down. What? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the this is the thing. The Emanese is on the far left of the restaurants. This is cursed. Oh, this is Emanese. Far left. No problem. The restaurant on the far right serves pricey food. Okay. Loudmouth goes to the restaurant next to the place that serves spicy food. Okay. Loudmouth goes to the pricey place. Unless he goes to the fucking spicy place. Oh, this is so cursed. What the fuck is... Petrov stays as far away from spicy food as he can, which in this case is two restaurants away. So Petrov is here no matter what. Okay. The restaurant next to the Amanese gets deliveries in the evening. I don't know which one is. Oh wait, no, I do know the Amanese. Okay, restaurant next to the Amanese gets deliveries on the evening. So this one, evening deliveries, Amanese. 
Mama Bass is Seamus' usual spot. I don't know which one. For now, Mama Bass is gonna be spicy, not pricey. It's gonna be spicy dinner. Steakums brain? What are you guys doing? Give me some time. Let me at least read all the things where you guys start picking on me. There's like fucking 12 more things. Give me, a, give me like a minute. Fucking hell. Like I have to, I'm going through them step by step. Y'all like give me a minute here. Uh, restaurant that serves icy food gets their deliveries for dinner. Do we know that Petra? Pat, we only know that Pat, we don't know anything about the time on the Patroff one. So that could be icy. That could, that could be dinner. Wait, do we know dinner? Pricey. We don't, we don't know anything about Amonese being pricey. We just know that Amonese gets its deliveries in the evening. Okay, so Amonese has to be... Okay. Wait, wait. Evening. Okay, Amonese gets their deliveries in the evening. The restaurant that serves icy food gets their deliveries for dinner. So Icy is back on the... Uh, Icy is something totally different now. Okay. Amonese, far left. Okay. Restaurant serves pricey food. Far right. Okay. I'm just going through all of them again, just to be sure. Loudmouth, uh, next to the place that serves spicy food. Okay, so Loudmouth is either here or here. We're going to leave him here for now. Okay. Uh, Patrov stays as far away from spicy food as possible, in which case, two restaurants away. Check. Good. Everything's correct so far. Restaurant next to Amonese gets deliveries in the evening. Wait, then which one? I thought Amonese got deliveries in the evening. Oh, no, no, no. Icy Food gets their deliveries for dinner. Wait a minute. How hang on. Loudmouth goes to the restaurant next to the place that serves spicy. Who's in there right now? Seamus. Have I got any? Did I just put Seamus? I think I just put Seamus in, like, randomly at the beginning. I know that he's supposed to go to Mama Base, but spicy has nothing to do with it. You only know that pre- Wait a minute, but spicy does matter. Wait a minute. Go away. This can be icy. Technically. The restaurant that serves icy food gets the deliveries for dinner. Patroff stays away from spicy, so he probably likes icy. Loudmouth handles his deliveries during lunch. Alright, loudmouth pricey lunch. Beefy Reef cooks specialty, especially dicey foods. Beefy Reef. All right, chat. It's time out for you. I want to look over at chat. You guys are ruining this for me. Uh, Golden Boy doesn't serve any kind of spicy food. I mean, I knew that. Uh, Vinny is just a mean guy. I don't mean to disrespect prawns, but that guy's a real mean dude. Okay, that's just mean. That doesn't have anything to do with anything, but we'll leave him in the dicey section. Second place from the right serves spicy food. No, something's wrong here. Okay, so now I can just go through it and like double check everything. Have an easy restaurants on the far left serves pricey food. Now that everything's in place, I won't get as confused. Okay, restaurants on the far right serves pricey. Okay. Amnese is in the far left. Check. Loudmouth goes to the restaurant next to the place that serves spicy food. Loudmouth is next to spicy. Petrov stays as far away from spicy as possible. Check. Okay, so down to here, we're good no matter what. All right. The restaurant next to Amonese gets deliveries in the evening. Okay. Mama Bass is Seamus' usual spot. Check. The restaurant that serves icy food gets their deliveries for dinner. Okay. Loudmouth handles his deliveries during lunch. All right. Beefy Reef cooks dicey food. Dicey. So the only thing that can switch is uh, Loudmouth and Vinny. And that means that we have to switch the stuff for... No, 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 no. No, right now this adds up. Golden Boy doesn't serve any kind of spicy food. Correct. Okay. Seamus always takes care of the deliveries in the morning. Yeah. So I'm missing, like, one thing then. Like, one, like, tiny fucking thing. And for some reason, Vinny's just mean. Which fucking... Which one of these am I missing? I think it's this one. Uh, whichever one is like the, the restaurant next to one of them. 
Loudmouth goes to the restaurant next to the place that serves spicy food. Which is Mama Bass, because Seamus likes spicy. Restaurant that serves... Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait how do we get spicy? Golden Boy doesn't serve any spicy. Second place from the right serves spicy. One, two. Otherwise, it would say second place from the left. <laughs> what? This is gonna... This scrolls down. It gives me one more hint, Chad. I promise. I promise. What the fuck? It's like, I'm guessing... What if it's just like positioning? Who? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave you guys on emote only mode till next week. Let's see. This goes here and that goes there. Whoa, I think that's it. That's it. I figured it out! I can't believe it! Now, according to this, Loudmouth should be at the Golden Boy for lunch! And it's 10 minutes to lunch right now! Well, time- lunch- lunch timing's subjective. I got him! If I hurry down there right now, I'll catch him red-handed! He's a hero. Act 3. The clam man cometh. The chowder bites back. Gonna get killed. Anyway, the reason the McGregor's boys is the show of the century isn't just because of the writing is stellar. It's because the show deals with its source material in the most genius kind of way, the power dynamic between the old man belly and Greg McGregerson boy. Fantastic. The actors just really knew what they were going. He got it wrong, Omega Lol. Fuck, I'm, I, I'm like looking at chat and I'm already like, oh God. Around the direction. It's just, all right, I've heard enough. What? Let's cut the chit chat. Get down to the brass tacks. Your latest shipment is late. It's coming, babe, I told you. It's not coming fast enough. And you haven't told me why it's late. I don't, I'm not giving this person a real voice till I see their face. This is why you call me here? It's lunchtime. It's the middle of the day. You realize I'm taking a risk just sitting in the same table as you, right? Am I hearing antagonism in your voice, Bosman? I I'm just saying, I thought this was something more important. <laughs> Nothing is more important than your mayonnaise. More specifically, the mayonnaise you are supposed to supply to me. That mayonnaise I needed two days ago, Bosman. Testing my patience here. Look, I don't mean to test your patience, babe. It's just unforeseen con- It's not my patience you need to worry about, Bosman. I trust you know what that means. So, how far along is he? When is he, you know, ready? None of your concern. But know this, Mr. Bosman. You will deliver the mayonnaise within the next 24 hours or else I will cook you in butter and... Do you mind? <laughs> no! What? Ah! Oh, snap! It's the clam man! That's right! Well, good for you. Now leave us alone. I'm afraid I can't do that, loudmouth. How? Who is this, Bosman? Why is he talking about loudmouth? I don't know. I've kept everything super quiet, I promise. Not quite enough. I know everything now. I'm gonna tell you all in public without any sort of plan for if you try to get me after this. Oh, yeah? You don't know squat. Get out of here before I send my goons on you. I know Bosman's supplying you with mayonnaise. He's the boss of a huge mayonnaise production corporation. He's supplying a lot of people. Yeah, but you, you get it for free. And the income loss is being canceled out by firing employees at the company. Bosman, is this true? Was that the only way you could make those numbers disappear? By evening them out? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I know your code name is Loudmouth, too. Big whoop, I'm loud. Great detective work. I know about your whole setup here. Vinny, Seamus, Patrov, the four restaurants, when you do the deliveries, the whole lot. You're bluffing. I made that puzzle super hard. <laughs> I picked the easy setting. I, I had to technically look it up on the internet, though. But that's okay, because I'm a proud streamer, and no one expected better of me. The bar is so low, fucko. The bar is lower than you could possibly believe. Ah, oh, that's just ruining your fun. It was super tricky, though. I had to solve it quickly, because I needed to bust you two as quickly as possible. Bosman, why was the information even on the internet? <laughs> well then, looks like you have it all figured out, Mr. Man. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to call the police. In fact, I did. Yeah, they're on their way right now. For what crime? What is... So they've gotten... So you got fired. So you got fired and so they're giving away free mayonnaise. Where's the crime? Matter of fact, the only crime here is that you broke into, like, a fucking records place. Like, the record company. What the fuck? Well, crap. Did you tell them everything already? Mm-hmm. I told them about the evidence, and I'm giving them the entire case completely laid out. You probably missed something, though. Some little detail that will drop the charges. Nope, I think it's airtight. No real loopholes anywhere. You guys are going to jail. Aww. Come on, clammy, clam, clam, clim, clam, clam. Can't we do this some other way? Nah, I just really want to see you guys go to jail. I'm sort of an asshole now. I, I don't like being unemployed. Oh, well, that kind of ruined my day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this sucks super hard. That's what happens. Crime doesn't pay. If you're dishonest, justice is gonna catch up. Clammy justice. Oh, come on, Clammy. We're going to jail and you're making jokes? That's really uncool. Uncool? You guys were doing crime. You, you were stealing mayonnaise and firing people. But I, I wasn't making jokes about it. You were saying a bunch about fruit pies, though. I like fruit pies. Sh sue me. No, I'm just gonna send you to jail. Wow, you are really being such a buzzkill right now. Why are you guys so upset? I busted you fair and square. Yeah, but you're being a real meanie about it, though. Just the biggest meanie, man. What the hell's your problem? How am I the bad guy here? Excuse me, sirs, but the police want to see you. They say you're being super duper arrested. All right, we'll, we'll be out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're just, you stop it. No, you. <laughs> we did it. And now they've just kind of made me feel bad about the whole thing. Hey man, you did the right thing. Oh wait, this is my friend. I thought this was the duck for some reason. That's just how criminals are, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So you caught him. That's pretty impressive, dude. Thanks, man. It wasn't all too easy. Who would have thought Boswood was capable of orchestrating something like this, huh? Yeah. What's wrong, dude? You should be stoked you cracked the case. I guess so. It's just... Just what? I feel like there's a lot of loose ends. Why mayonnaise? They were smuggling it out to restaurants, right? I guess they're selling it for a total profit? Well, the restaurants weren't using the mayonnaise. They were just fronts. So, chat... The phone call from the beginning of the game. Excuse me, sir. Does mayonnaise make you more aerodynamic? It's him. They need the mayonnaise because they're making a rocket. They're making a rocket. So do you know where the mayonnaise goes? No idea. I guess we got to figure that out next. Why Bosman? What do you mean? What did he stand to gain? Uh, you know, Bosman, he was never the sharpest tool in the shed. Be that as it may, I still don't get it. It didn't seem like he was getting paid. What did he get out of all this? You know what? Does that even matter? He got caught in the SBPD. You're gonna deal with him and Bob now. Yeah. There's someone else behind all this. The evidence is pretty clear about Bosman and this loudmouth, and it incriminates the three mobsters that tried to intimidate me earlier, too. 
Yeah, you said four gangsters, four restaurants, and so on. Loudmouth. And those three, that's four. It sounds to me like you got them all. It does sound like that, but there's something bugging me. In the club, I found a note written by someone else. Someone saying he was running his business and told them to shape up or something. Was there a name? I don't think so. You sure you didn't see something? That sounds like a pretty big clue. There was a sigil, I think. I don't remember the details. I see. You know me, dude. I say leave it. You're lucky you made it through all this in one piece. I know. I don't know. It never seemed very dangerous. Yeah, really, this is all Clam Man's fault. He's sort of an asshole. Like, they didn't really... There was no real victims to this crime. He just sort of tattled for nothing. Now, the mob, though, feels pretty threatening to me. Maybe so. I gotta keep... I gotta get going. I don't... I won't be able to sleep until I've got this all figured out. Also, I'm not making any money. I'm gonna be evicted from my home really soon because instead of actually getting a job, I uh, do this all day. Hmm. Huh. Streets feel pretty empty all of a sudden. Yeah, you're right. You think something's up? I don't know. I mean, what could happen in broad daylight? Mayonnaise crimes? Besides that, I better get started. I feel restless already. I just gotta know what's been going on, dude. So what do I do now? You know what? Maybe I can help. Here, let me show you something. Where are you going? Something you said made me think of something. Let me go get it. A thing? Think it's related to the case? It might be. Found out the office this morning. I'll be honest, though. I've been worried about you, dude. I never thought you'd take it this far. I get that you want to figure it out, what's going on, but still, he's going to kill me. Breaking into places, running into gangsters, confronting them personally, I mean the mob, conspiracies like that, it's going to get you killed. Ow! Wait, I got a clam for a head. He's not going to fucking hurt me. Hey. Hey! You hit him too hard. I had to knock him out, didn't I? Yeah, but he also needs to be woken up at some point. Look, you knock him out next time. Don't get snippy with me. That's a dumb word. You're dumb. Uh, what? Well, what's going on? Where am I? Hey, you're awake. Pete? Hey, dude. Yeah, it's me. Where am I? It doesn't really matter. How did I get here? Me? I, I brought you here. Why? I was told to. Nothing like a concise, clean answer, is there? No. What's going on here? Well, have a look around. What does it look like? A construction site. <laughs> Smart kid. No wonder he got this far. He was just looking around. And I was just being sarcastic. I was just hit on the head. My head hurts. Yeah, sorry about that. I wasn't sure how hard I need to hit someone to knock them out. So just to be safe, I hit you hard. Really, really hard. You hit me? I already said I was sorry. It still hurts. Why would you hit me? I get it. It hurts. Stop being a baby. You hit me. Yeah, but it was like only once. All right, that's enough. Listen, kid. I'm a man with a vision and a man of the people. I should be, after all. I am the mayor. Wait, Mayor King? That's right. Well done, Mr. Man. You made it quite far. You're the one Mr. Bosman was smuggling for? Correct. You're the real mob boss? Oh, come on now. Don't be ridiculous. That title is beneath me. I'm a visionary. I'm a leader. The city needs people like me. No, no, that's not right. It needs me. Specifically me. What are you talking about? Look at Snacky Bay, Mr. Man. It is a diamond. It is a jewel of the ocean. It is the most beautiful city in the world, except... Except for that disgusting, filthy, rundown part of Snacky Bay that I believe you, Mr. Man, call home. Bums in the streets, criminals jaywalking in broad daylight, street gangs dealing with sandbags, or whatever that means. It is a stain on the beauty of Snacky Bay, and I am the detergent that I wash at very high temperatures, Mr. Man. I am boiling hot. Again, what are you talking about? For ages, people have been telling me to do something about your awful part of town. Clean it up, they say. Sort it out, they say. Well, I may not be a dentist, but I do know this. If a tooth is rotten, you don't just brush it and call it a day. It has to be pulled. That's what a city official does, Mr. Man. That is what my job is. Pulling teeth. Right, okay, go on. How's that apply to neighborhoods? You can't just clean it up. Sooner or later, it'll just go back to its old ways. I've got a better idea. Get rid of it. 
Oh no, my shithole house. No. <laughs> no, please don't. No, not the fucking, not, not the happy ghost. Don't make him do it. No, please. Get rid of it. It's Bobby Blob. I just got an achievement. It's him. Chad, it's Bobby Blob. It was him all along. That's Blobby. You fucking ass. Wait, what? King, what are you talking about? You stay quiet. I'll sp you'll speak when spoken to. Good. Don't you see, Mr. Man? This is how you govern. Give the people what they want. By destroying an entire part of the city? Exactly. And Pete, why don't you tell your dear friend what I'm giving you for your kind assistance? He's you're making me CEO of Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise. I can't believe you've done this. Pete is just stepping up to save the company, isn't that right, Pete? Save the company? What are you talking about? You see, Mr. Man, I'm not just the mayor. As of now, I'm also the majority shareholder of Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise. I have the power to shut down the entire company. It'd be an easy way to cover my tracks, wouldn't it, Pete? Is it just fucking coincidence that Pete knows me at all? I was able to, like, knock me out. Like, isn't it just coincidence that we're friends and that any of this fucking happened with him involved? Isn't that, like, fucking, like, super crazy coincidence? Like, it's not like they knew that Clam Man, the most milk toast, pathetic loser, like, idiot, bitch boy, pathetic, white bread son of a bitch would ever fucking- This guy's toast. He's basically toast. He's as, as, as exciting and, like, interesting and surprising as a piece of toast. Like, what, what are the odds that he'd be able to predict that I would be, like, fucking, like, the guy who does all this? Relish on toast. That's right, chat. I'm toast that's got a little bit of relish on it now. Now, I'm a gracious, caring man, you see. Can't let all those people lose their jobs, can I? But I can't just let anyone become CEO. We don't want people to start asking questions, do we? Uh, so why don't we kill two birds with one stone? We keep the company alive, everyone keeps their jobs, and I appoint a CEO that I can control. I'm sorry, dude, I had to. Too many people will suffer if the company closes down. That's right. Pete here knows what happens if he steps out of line. He's what? <laughs> He's making me CEO of Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise. No, I heard you. I just... Wow, dude. Wow. I just realized this might be a dumb question, but are you excited about me becoming boss or... No! Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, that makes sense. You... You monster! Don't you have a conscience? Think of all the people living here. The families. Nat. Billy. That... That weird knot guy. His name is what? You'll cripple the sandbag market. All the damage. Wait. This is the entire plan? Yes, why? What about the mayonnaise? Oh, the mayonnaise, the key part of my plan. What? How? Where does the mayonnaise fit into all this? You haven't figured that out yet? Oh, clammy, clammy, clam. Maybe I've overestimated you, Mr. Man. How do you presume I intend to cause all this destruction? No. I heard something earlier about bulldozers and excavators, and I mean, that one there looks pretty menacing. I see Bobby in it. Hi, Bobby. Good to see you, man. Very observant of you. So all these machines, and you still don't realize what the mayonnaise is for? I don't see the correlation, no. Fuel. What? Fuel. What? Fuel. What? Let me tell you, Mr. Man. Oil, gas, petrol, call it whatever you want. That's expensive stuff, and while the city is far from poor, fuel for an army of huge machines will cost you. That's money I can't explain away. Mayonnaise is a suitable substitute for combustible fuel? Suitable? Kind of? Cheap? Definitely. So... You're, f you're fueling destruction with mayonnaise because it's cheaper than gas. That's exactly right, mm, clam man. Except that this fuel isn't cheap. It's free because of Bosman, right? Correct. How did you make him do that? Are you trading something? Is he on? Is he in on this? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Man. You're forgetting that I did not deal with any source of mayonnaise personally. All oh, right. The mobsters, they work for you. And let me tell you, Mr. Man, when the mob asks you to give, well, chances are you'll give. What did Bosman get out of this? You're looking at it the wrong way, kid. It's not what happens if he does what he's told. 
It's what happens if he doesn't do what he's told. Then what's with the mayonnaise behind me? Oh, that? That's not for fuel. That's mayonnaise I'm boiling in a threatening manner. Did you know, Mr. Man, mayonnaise has a boiling point of 245 degrees. <laughs> that's very, very hot, Mr. Man. I mean, that's actually like, that's hot, but it's not like that hot. That could be way hotter. I, I, that could be a much more intimid like intimidating temperature, you know? That's hot, but it's not, that's not. Celsius? We talking Celsius here? Oh, we're talking Celsius? Oh, we're talking- Oh, we're talking Celsius. Bobby, you see- hear that? We're talking- That's Celsius! That's Celsius in there. I don't know, dude. He could've just- I'm- chat. my point was that he could've just said it was boiling. Like, he doesn't even say, like, Oh, it's also, like, this exact temperature. Like, that just makes- that's gonna make anything sound not that impressive. Like, just say it's boiling. You don't need to fucking- You need to- just boiling. Cool. Fucking epic. Like, what do you want from me? You could drop anything in there and it would be unrecognizable in a second. What chance did you even stand, Mr. Clam? What did you manage to achieve calling the cops on a gang of mobsters? That changes nothing. My plan is- Why does my character give a fuck about this part of town? The second he was like, oh, you're tearing down town? Ah, eh, fucking, I don't care. I'm about to get- I have to pay triple rent for the next three months. Like, in a day. I don't- I have no job. I have no fucking problems here. I, I'm out. Hey, 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 Pete. Now that you're CEO, rehire me. Thanks. He got hit on the head? True. He does owe 12 rents. Maybe- maybe there's something moral about that. He has to pay the rents. He owes 12 to 20 rents, according to, uh, Nat. You stopped nothing but a miserable pile of cretins. But now- now you're stuck. You can't even get out of those ropes. And even if you did, I've got plenty more. More rope than I could ever possibly need. But enough talk. Time to cover the last track. Wait, what do you mean? He's a liability. He has to go. This wasn't part of the agreement. You can't hurt him. Oh, I should. When did you fucking think for a second he wasn't going to hurt me, Pete? Let's be fucking honest here for a second. Oh, I assure you, he won't feel a thing. Don't do it. Nothing personal, kid. No. Oh. I think it's personal, not personnel. How can you hear spelling? Oh, right. Ah! 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 I guess this is it. Killed by mayonnaise. How ironic. <gasps> well, now I'm dead, you fucking asshole. Are you kidding me? <coughs> Ow! That's the sound you make when you're dying of boiling mayonnaise. <gasps> not take it from here. <laughs> I can't. I'm not doing quack voice. I can't. I'm, I'm just gonna. No, no, no. He's gonna talk. How did I make him talk before? Hi. He talked like, talked like that. You. Hey, Clam Man. I've been following your moves closely. You've been a great help, kid. Ha! Figures. I knew you couldn't have gone this far by yourself, Mr. Man. Lay off the kid, King. You're mine now. Wait, who are you? I'm this guy's darkest nightmare. Overconfidence, the slow and insidious killer duck. Yes! <laughs> yes! Why all this, King? Just for power? Money? Trinkets and baubles? Yes! <laughs> Following my moves, why not just deal with this yourself? It ain't that easy. It's rough being a duck in a town like this. Plenty of tough luck to deal with. Crime, corruption, gangs, lack of oxygen. But the toughest challenge is the prejudice. If you're a duck, you better stay out of sight. You can't just walk the streets at day solving mysteries one time. Only time I can go out is at night. And by then, I'm busy enough fighting crime. It just doesn't get any easier. I guess that makes sense. That's why I had to let you do the work on this one, Mr. Clam. You had access to places I didn't. You performed admirably. I only had to nudge you in the right direction once or twice. 
how did you know where I needed to go? Had my eye on this guy for a while. I knew a whole lot about his little operation. Well, you still can't stop me. No one can. Technically, aside from killing the clam guy, this is all above board. We even told the landlords and the owners of the buildings. They're all just moving out. All of this is legal. You guys are breaking the law. <laughs> Honestly, what are you doing? I'm confused. Come on, dude, keep up. Mayor King used his network of mobsters to force Bossman and Snacky Bait Prime Mayonnaise to supply him with enough mayonnaise to fuel an entire army of bulldozers so that he could destroy an old dilapidated part of Snacky Bay that was the public... that the public for ages had been asking him to take care of. Actually, he's doing a service. So again, why is he destroying it? Because he's a madman. Also, again, why are you helping him? He's manipulating me. Also, also again, how did he get a network of mobsters? He's a politician! Alright, sure, whatever, do your thing. You got it, kid. Enough, this ends here! I couldn't agree more. How about you? Uh, 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 uh. Your skills have improved since we last faced off! You are still too weak! Your anger will be a downfall, King. If I were to fall, I would take the world with me. Face it, Doc, you've lost. Now surrender to my superior power. Power means nothing if what you fight for is corrupt. You know nothing of me and my work. I know your kind, King. Evil never prevails. We'll see about that, big boy. Taste my Hadouken. A powerful move, but ultimately useless. Useless, eh? How about this one? The cheap blast. I got the technique was for being a fool. Are you not adhere to your tired dog was? The darkness has consumed you. As it will you, duck. Play man, I need your aid. His powers are too strong for me to take alone. Help me. How? We can talk later. We gotta stop King first. The remote! King must have dropped it when he went Super Saiyan! It's got some buttons on it. Uh, let's see, we got lower crane, extend, sick backflip. Okay. Sick backflip! Wait! I've got a weird feeling like I'm destined to push this button, like my adventure will be over if I do so. Should I? Push it. Alright. So you're telling me that if I click this button, the crane is going to do a sick backflip? Because that's the case, I'm definitely pushing this button. They're dead. They're all dead. You did it, kid! King is no more! I just pushed a button. I didn't think he'd shoot off like that. I just wanted to see a sick backflip. Where'd he go? Is he okay? I didn't mean to kill anyone. Don't worry about it. He took a beating and he flew off pretty far, but I'm sure he's okay. Oh. Well, that's reassuring. He can't hurt anyone in Snacky Bay anymore. You should be proud, Clam Man. I didn't do all that much, but yeah, sure. I'm a little proud of myself. No. What about this guy? I gotta say, Pete, you hurt me. Yeah, I hit you way too hard. I mean emotionally. You're my best friend, dude. Friends don't ally with evil mayors and mayonnaise smugglers and betray each other for jobs. When you put it that way, it's so clear. I don't know what to say, man, but I do. Dude, I messed up. And there's no way I can undo what I did. But I want you to know this. I regret every second of it. Not because you found out, not because it ended the way it did, but because I was weak enough to do what I did to you in the first place. To my best friend. And friends, don't do that to each other, man. I'm deeply sorry. And I know you might not believe me on that, but it is the truth. I am really sorry. I forgive him. Hey, Pete. 
Oh, we got a Paragon ending. Chat, I get the weird feeling if I didn't forgive him, shit was about to get dark. Darker, like a Mass Effect, like, renegade bit. <laughs> I got the bad feeling that if I had picked I don't forgive you, Clam Man was gonna pick this guy up and huck him into the mayonnaise. We may have missed a pretty good thing. Hey, Pete? Yeah? I believe you. Not because we're in the presence of a magical duck vigilante who makes everyone super honest, but because you're my best friend, and best friends believe in each other. Hey, thanks, dude. You're really just gonna let that go? Just like that? Wow, you're a better person than me, Clam Man. Oh yeah, he's a great freaking guy. Aw, oh, come on, guys. You would have done the same for me? Probably not. Yeah, me neither. I would have kicked your fucking ass. Oh. Anyway, great job, everyone. Snacky Bay is safe once more. What'll you do now? Now I rest. My wings are weary from the flaps of justice, but not for long. For as long as there is injustice in this world and lies and deceit, there will always be work to be done. It's like the saying, I guess. A duck's work is never done. Right you are, my backstabby friend. I'll leave you now. You can take it from here, boys. Thanks for the help back there. I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for you. Think nothing of it. Where will you go? To wherever I am needed. Adios, amigos. Be good and be honest. Whoa. He's dead. He's dead. He died. He died. He exploded. He just blew up. He just blew up, Chet. He, he, exited, he exited the atmosphere too quickly. He exploded. So, Chet, you can't just change. Chet, you're under the ocean. You can't just change. You can't change pressure like that. He blew up. He went up too fast. He died. So what happens now? Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise, you've reached senior sales representative. Hi. I have an issue with the mayonnaise? Right, sure, this is sales though. I'll just patch you through to customer service. Oh, okay, sorry, I must have gotten the wrong number. What's your, so what's your issue with our mayonnaise? Now you goofed it pretty hard there. Please don't tell anyone. People will make jokes about it forever. Sure thing, Mr. Wrong Number. No! He ran off. Hey, dude. Hey, Pete. Should I say, hello, sir? Knock that off. Join me for lunch? Sure thing, boss. What are they serving? Fruit pie. Ah! Oh! That was awesome. They're making a second one. I don't know when it's coming out, but it does have like a tutorial. It has like a preview. It's got like a, uh, it's, it's got like a, 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 like, you know, prologue thing out right now. That was great. I loved the humor in that game. It wasn't trying too hard, which I like. It was, it was just fucking around and goofballing. It was goofing. And I, that made it a lot more fun to me. Because when something funny did happen, the preview is so good. We'll probably do it all in one go. We will do the sequel to Clam Man whenever it's ready. Uh, but I'm not gonna, I don't wanna do like part of the game that I'm gonna see again anyways. Clam Man will return in Clam Man 2 Electric Boogaloo. All I know, chat, is that, um, is that Clam Man decides to follow his dreams and become a stand up comedian. I, I will not say more than that because I do not know more than that but his storyline is that he's gonna become a stand-up comedian or whatever pretty sure the prequel open mic is a standalone thing then we'll probably play that when we play the other one because chat I don't know if you can tell my voice is done today 